All right, mic check, mic check. Could be back. Uh, <clears throat> filters, um, stuff like that on the audio are going to be different. Let me see if I can fix that real quick. Um, this is super blank. And let's see. You guys let me know when y'all can see me again um, in the chat. Filters. Oh, we got no filters on this one. Okay, so we want um, compressor threshold. I know it needs to be around that 2023. Da, da, da. All right, so compressing there and pull it back to right about there. So it's not poppy, poppy, poppy around 20 ish. All right, so we want noise suppression. Da, da, da. And one more. <clears throat> Compressor expander, noise gate, standard, bum, 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 bum. All right, and there we go. Run a market replay, fantastic. You're running market replay, all right? Yeah, so it does seem like it's uh, dependent on the machine. So there are some things local to each, and I'm about to find out if it was inside of my other profile and maybe narrow it down to what it could be. Maybe there's services running in the background. Maybe it's, you know, it could be, who knows what, a lot of things. Could be, you know, some Logitech stuff. But we've now that I have seen some people, like, it's just working for them and others that it's not, well, that's good, because that means we can narrow it down to things on a machine, and I can go to, like, you know, in theory, this QA instance, um, with basically nothing else on it. <laughs> no, no fancy stuff, no... At the same time, I am running an old version of Ninja Trader. Uh, it had been the stable one for the longest time. You know whether it remains to be that or not. Uh, we'll find out. So uh, first, let me connect to Farming and Catch Today's data. Connecting here. Stream's current bit rate is lower than the recommended blah, 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 blah. Don't know what that is. Can you guys still see my screen okay? Is everything, or is it all super blurry? Um, I'm streaming 4K. Um, let's see, let's do... Next. Market replay. Playback connection. Now some things with Windows security. Always forget. Yep, yeah, before you start on any of this stuff, get in the habit of just anything that's going to slow down your machine at all. Real prime protection is off. Great. Okay. So got that peeled down and I'm going to go to today's date. I'm going to workspace. But standard. And we're going to peel stuff back to the basics. Everything. Add Nick bot panel. No speed, because I saw Barry was able to run it with no speed at all. Don't know if he had Algo Voice on or not. All right. I'm just trying to duplicate and be able to do what Barry's done. I have seen one person be able to do it, so that's that's good news. Um, I want to come back to Discord. Okay, let me double off into Discord here.
All right, let me look at Barry's video one more time here. We are going to solve the mystery. All right, here is, here's what I'm trying to reproduce right here. So Barry is running, he's on historical. He's not even doing the, he's not even pure market replay. So he's got historical running. Don't hear audio. He's got his audio turned off, um, but he is cranking it. Did anybody see, did Barry post his uh, stats, his PC stats there? So he's running it on three. So first thing I want to do is I just want to test the exact, right? First thing, I want to make sure, like, we're on the same page to start with, right? So he's cranking it. I mean, this thing is going. He's running it. Now that's my market replay. Oh, there it is. Bottom left, he's running at 50x. And he's doing 6.2. Just smashing it. His stuff is acting very, very quick. Now, he is on the latest version of Ninja Trader. Is he not? Oh, no. No, he's not. No, he's not. Actually, sorry. Barry, tell me again. I'm getting you guys mixed up. One person was on the latest. That icon right there. I don't have my drawing tool, so I can't draw uh, on this box. Yes, sir. You want another banana? Sure. Is that yummy bananas? Yeah. You got a yummy banana? Here you go. Do you see Love's banana? Are you going to share with them? I hear him crying down there. You want to give him some banana? Maybe that'll make him happy. Here you go. Take that too. You have some. All right. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so yeah, he was able to crank through that. I want to do that. You know what I'm saying? That's my whole goal right now. All right, three R. I want to reproduce it. So what I've done now, so what's the new test? I am on, you notice I, <laughs> I got a tent camping background here. This is QA. All right, this is the QA quarters, headquarters right here in the tent. <laughs> All right, uh, arm long, arm short, arm continuous, and my market replay is... All the way back to 526. We already know 526 works like a champ. In fact, I've done this over and over. I'm going to go to, but today's data, for whatever reason. Now, I wonder, we might need to think about, well, what, what data does Barry have? I'm on CQG. Um, is Barry still here? Barry, could you tell us what... Um, what data connection you've got? I uh, mean, yeah, we can go all the way back to like, is he using Kinetic? Is he using, I don't know. I have to change developer to trader. <laughs> uh, very cool. All right, so here we go. Uh, 10, 10, 10, 10, that's 10 a.m. We're gonna go to eight. I just wanted to, I just wanted to see it work, baby. So pure profile, doesn't have a lot on it. Although technically, I mean, yes, I am streaming. But in theory, um, this QA should have less stuff. That's front end.
I do have OneDrive running. Uh, maybe that's part of my problem. I do tell you guys don't run OneDrive. I have Stream Deck as well. Still Stream Deck. GQG data worked for you, Matt. Enigma bot 62. Matt, that's awesome. Matt ATM, do me a favor, record it. Please do a quick recording and post it for us. <clears throat> you can post up to a, I think now a 250 megabyte video in our room. Um, I am paying for our room to have the highest level of Discord, so you should be able to do that. Okay, cool. Let's uh let's do it. So I should be match for match what Barry's doing. He's doing 50x and he's on regular historical and he is armed long and continuous. Here we go. Here comes the test. Center center here. See what we got. Now we know at 8.30, there was an 8.30 news event. Here comes 8.20. 8.25, here comes the news where stuff's going to get crazy. The 8.28, same hang. Look at that. 8.28, 37 a.m. That is so crazy. It's hung. It's literally hung right now. It is hung like a boss. Wow. Okay, well, I wish I could do what Barry can do. Uh, Barry, you're on CQG? Okay, CQG, and did he ever post that? Uh, Barry, are you on a 13900, 12900? Very consistent, though, for me. Uh, I'm hanging up on, uh, hanging in the same spot. This video starts at 9:30. Okay, yeah, let me try the 9:30 thing. We'll we'll do that again. I really do want a. I want a one for one. So that's a good point. So, oh, it's not gonna let me kill it. Kill it from here. That's cool. We're starting at 9:30. Let's do that test. Yeah, so 9.30. All right, we're going to do the 9.30 test. We'll see if we can get ours to work at the 9.30. Post it in the public chat, please.
All right, changing the three range. One day. Save this so I don't have to do this again. Testing and now cool. So even on a crash, it will launch back perfectly. All right. Connecting to playback connection. Go to 6-2, a.m. Go to... All right, and 50x speed. Arm long, arm short, arm continuous. And we're at 930. Even try to sit just to start out at 10x here, and we are in historical. Press play here. Okay. Go. Um, target filled. Go. Hit target one there. Target one filled. Switches. I've had no problems of them even before on QA on the days that, you know, are not weird like today. I mean, I've had this thing. It would switch. It would go back and forth. I mean, I tried to break the thing. I tried to go back target, and forth, back and forth. Target no problems filled. whatsoever. Target filled. Target filled. Target filled. Target filled. Okay, no problems through 937. Target filled. Target filled. Oh, 941, it's hung. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, what is the deal, people? How how does this work on someone else's machine? But uh, it is not working on mine. This is going to be very, very interesting. Barry, Barry, Barry ran it just fine. Mine is consistently hanging at several spots. Okay, we've got some digging to do. Um, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Gotta put some thought wear to this one. Everything same, same. I mean, obviously, we're not same machines. I'm on 900, but oy vey. Barry, are you here? Yeah, it's Barry on a laptop. I want a few more things about your machine, if you don't mind. Barry's running on a laptop. With just this, I mean, it really should not be that intensive. Like, it really is not all of that... Um, Yes, it's single CPU, but is he on a 12900? Is he on 11900? 13900? Is he on an i7? The answering here. Laptop. 
4K 32 inch TV. Awesome. Do you know what? Yeah, we need the generation. Are you on um, i9? Oh, I mean, it's probably, I don't know. It could be i9, it could be i7. Is it 13900? I can't really tell from your video, I don't think, if I can tell what version of Windows you're on. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Sorry. I am so sorry. I just saw your spec right here. Oh, great. Uh, what version of Windows? I mean, I continue to say that Windows 10 and 11 sucks. They have telemetry. The whole telemetry thing is such a turd. Yeah, sorry. I saw that. I need Windows version now, though. What version of Windows is that running? Yeah, I saw it. Sorry. Yeah, I'm looking at it right here now. It's here. And it's a laptop, um, but version of uh, version of Windows, because again, it, this could be Windows. It's Windows 10. OK, so on an i7, no problems. That's less CPUs. So is it a virtual core problem? I don't have any of my virtual cores turned off. All of mine are. There. Works on an i7, folks. Let's just. <laughs> oh, the solution is to downgrade your computers. <laughs> oh, my word. Working flawlessly on an i7. Y'all understand how badly that hurts my brain, right? Oh, uh, man, I am. <laughs> it does make me want to strip my whole computer down to nothing and rebuild the OS from scratch right about now, though. I can tell you that. How is that that disparately different? You know, it's interesting though. Okay, so hold up. So I'm gonna, now I'm gonna go to a, another day that I've had no problem. All right, I'm going to, I mean, is it the data? It could be so many things now, with data and whatnot. It should, like, if it was the code, it should not work on berries. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want it to be consistent. Like, stop working on berries, like crash on berries, you know? Data from market replay. Well, he did it on historical, you know, and that's that's crazy. And I did I did market replay as well. You can uh, try it. Historical data is also a problem at me. Wait, it was market replay data. What? I swear I watched your video. It wasn't. Oh, it was market replay. Okay, I'm retarded. Oh, no, no, folks, this might be the savior. Thank you. Thank you. See, this is that's teamwork makes a dream work. Thank you. I literally thought I had seen that check mark on yours, but you know what it was? It was because mine was open to it. I remember I had my playback. I set the always on top. My fault, my fault. All right. Okay, there's still hope. We haven't given up hope yet, folks. Hold up. We have not given up hope. It might be the historical data. We are going to grab market replay data. Remember, it is on a Friday. Now, I want to test 6.1 things. People said 6.1 Thursday. It's the day after. They should have updated their servers by now. All of the order books have been closed up. So the data should be fresh, theory. So, all right, going to grab the data again. All right, and playback connection.
Okay, so for market replay days, go to... Oh, I gotta go download it first. Other instance. Hello. Alright, so I got to connect local. And now I'm going to go download some market replay data. So historical data, we're going to go here to market replay, going to load, get market replay data. We are going to grab NASDAQ. I'm going to grab 6.1 and 6.2. Yes, sir. Whoa, did you print those? Those look awesome. So cool. What is it? Witherstorm. A wither storm? Wow, yeah. that looks awesome. Is it trash? Um, are you gonna just keep one or are you gonna keep both of them? Cool. Why don't you put them we should post them above your computer? We'll put them on your wall above your computer. That'd be cool. You got your own wallpaper. Be cool. All right, so I'm on a live stream right now, guys, but I'll be uh, done in a little bit. What you got there? Oh, okay. Thanks, guys. All right, so download it. Da -da -da -da. Now we're gonna disconnect and we're gonna connect to playback. Landon, you got your withdrawals? Awesome. Excellent work, sir. Our group has worked on my PC, Windows 11 admin account, and new NT8 app. Only bug I'm seeing is not all enigmas are being used. What does that mean? Not all enigmas are being used. What does that even mean? Not all enigmas are being used. Is that supposed to mean something? It's all possible. This is not due to the enigma coloring. I don't know what that means. Not being used. Used for what? Cooking? Baking? All right. Um, one. Go to six, two. <clears throat> You say not being used, you mean it's not firing a trade? Not firing trades at all the enigmas. Okay, well, that's, a de that's definitely a different bug. That's a different type of bug right there. If that's not happening, yeah, we need to see that. Yeah, it's like it's a ton of things. People describe this stuff, but they don't post video. They don't post screenshots. And I mean, half the time, listen, you know, there's PebCAC errors too. You know what a PebCAC error is?
that worked on Raising Cain as well. Gives me hope, but kind of not too at the same time. Uh it's too it's too sporadic. All right. Here is the moment of truth. He ran it on this. I think he did 930. I'm, I, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to go to 930 because we know we had that weird. We had non-farm non -farm payrolls at the 830 thing. So let's go to the open. Yeah, thanks, Raising K. I'm, I'm looking forward to playing this video. And I might just do it right now. This. All right. So he said 30 X speed market replay today on the Algobar ones. Take a peek at that. Sound of that. Okay. On the ones. I cannot tell what version of window. I think he's the one that said he's got the latest version. He's, oh, he's also got a different strategy, though. Okay, so strategy, he's running three big 18. Okay, so a couple of things that are different there. Let me move mine out of the way here. Two, he's at 827, 30x speed. Everything is armed. He's on the ones, so this should be the most difficult. And he says it works. Let's see. Boom, crushed it. Past 8.30. Mm. Wow, it even made it through the 830. So the craziness of the non-farm payroll is still working just fine on the ones on his machine. Now, I notice he's got the flashing error issue. So you notice this stuff is flashing. So according to Ninja Trader, they say that that's your local video. They say it's your video card driver, this flashing thing. But I don't know. I've seen some people have it, some people don't. That's the other thing about like something in the configurations of people's local machines. I'd like to narrow that down to see what it is. Like, can we get a stable version with everybody running on, you know, is it the latest Windows updates and, you know, video card drivers and everything else? Like what, what exactly is it that it would need to require? Okay, so he made it through a pretty decent chunk there. So again, it's it's sporadic. That's why I'm trying to figure out like this is the hardest type of problem to solve is when it is sporadic. You're running at 500 and it was fine. And all fire, but only if long and short. Then continuous is checked. All three works great. Yeah. Wait, Matt, you didn't know that? I mean, come on, this is what I mean by PebCAC. I was like, bro, that sounds like PebCAC. Okay, it's like, you ha yes, you have to have arm long, arm short. Because this is going to be like, yes, I want longs and shorts. I mean, look, <laughs> that's why I say include screenshots. Because you're all like, oh, it didn't work for me. Dur, 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 dur. And it's like, bro. Click the button. Okay, I can't fix PebCAC errors. All right, going to help out. Details matter. So just help out. It's great. Just... This is a good exercise for you too. Pay attention to details, be detail oriented. It'll make you better at everything. All right, very cool. So let's test this out. We got 50X, 30, I am on market replay, 9.30 AM. All of this should be exactly identical. He says he was on CQG data. He got market replay data. Now, you know, I, I, there's a lot of things different between our machines. So he's on a laptop i7, but you're telling me he can run this on an i7 and on an i9, 10900? Well, like kind of a blank QA, whatever, doesn't work. Now, yes, I'm live streaming and all kind of whatever, but you're telling me that this is hanging up because of Windows thing? I don't even know, man. I don't even know. We're about to find out. Let's go. 30x speed. <clears throat> but I can tell you this. We're going to figure it out. I, I, I am relentless in my pursuit Target of solving filled. problems. I am. We will solve it. We will. We will figure it out. We will at least know where to point. Target filled. Target filled.
Target filled. Target filled. Well, we just got past the 940 problem. Hold on. Tar target filled. We just got past the 940. Different data. Look. Market replay data. That is crazy. I'm making a very specific point here on this. Holy cow. So this worked. This did not. Hmm. Um, we would have to have our own try catches, but I don't even know what would cause it because I think this is at Ninja Trader's level. This is at Ninja Trader layer because they're passing it, <clears throat> it through to us. But I think it worked. I'd have to check to see if it works on blank bars. Um, okay. Well, I, I'm I'm feeling better. Okay, let's let's carry on. If I if and this is this is what Barry was able to filled. do. Yeah, I'm good with that. That's what I, I should filled. be able to repeat that. I told y'all, like whatever he did, I should be able to repeat. Yeah. So there we go. Target we just filled. Did. We're at 10 a.m. there, boom, and we made it. It's up a thousand bucks. And that's what he did. He did a thousand ninety. This one was eleven fifteen, so who knows? Some additional slippage or whatever. Target filled. Target filled. Okay, thirteen hundred to ten oh six. Target filled. Target filled. Target filled. Smashing. Target filled. But what's interesting is it's still a combination of things because I did this on my other profile, right? I did this on a profile. Target filled. On my personal Target profile. Filled. On my personal profile, right? I had to go to a clean profile here. This is actually kind of good news, though. Like, everybody take a note. I'm on a clean profile. I'm on a clean QA profile. It basically just doesn't have anything, you know, it's, I don't want to say anything at all, but I, <laughs> in fact, I already saw earlier, you know, on, my, on this personal one, I do have... You know, OneDrive, I've got some other things installed that I would recommend for you guys not to have Target installed. Filled. But, I mean, this is on a pure one, and I'm not having any problems. Like, it's uh, that's kind of good. And this is this is what I mean by, like, I would, I would not have, folks, I would not have put out a bad product. You know what I'm saying? Like, if the product was not working, I wouldn't have put it out. It was working fine. Everything was working great. Everything is working great. We did, we found this weird data today. I don't know what's going on with today's. Today's data coming in through CQG, what was happening there. At the same time, I actually want to know what that is because I should still be able to solve for it, right? I can do, you know, I should be able to put in some kind of try catch for it and go, okay, so I, you know, if Target this happens, filled. it's fine. Like, we'll just, you know, don't, don't draw or don't, don't calculate or whatever. We need to, but we have to know what the problem is. I don't know what the problem is. Like, what's wrong with the data, right? Yeah, please post them a link to the live stream. Target the people filled. Are asking questions filled. In there. I see a lot of people like asking questions. They need to come here to the live stream so they Target can kind of know filled. what's going on. Target filled. Post a link in the room, please. Target filled. Target filled. Target filled. Well, this thing's just cranking away. I have no problems on the market replay data. Crazy talk. Yeah, bad data in, bad data out. That's true. Yeah, I mean, you can't fix bad data. Now, there is, I just remembered, in, in Target Hedgetrader, filled. they have a filter bad Target ticks. filled. Where is that filter bad ticks located? Option. Um, data option market data. Here we go. All right, let's see what we got here. If there's anything inside of here, 
just for splits, daily data, preferred connections, historical, real time, CFD, don't care about that, historical, just for splits, data, get data from server. Okay, so that's different data. Show tick replay, I mean, we could do tick replay stuff, enable market recording for playback, filter bad ticks, there it is. Okay, so I already have it enabled. I don't know what that is, like I'd like to ask Ninja Trader. Can somebody do me a favor? Somebody Google quickly, do a search for filter bad ticks for me and post a link in the room for Ninja Trader. What is their in real time filter bad ticks thing mean? And you notice though, this only applies to real time. So it is not applying to historical. So remember when we're doing this off of historical, are we having problems with historical? That depends, right? Then there's this option here, record live data as historical. This means you are your own, or are you grabbing it from the server, right? There's a lot of things going on here internal to NinjaTrader that this could be related to. I'm I'm very happy to hear if it's like on a specific day with a certain type of data, you know, whatever, mm -hmm. anomalous tick. Sure, I'd love to be able to put a, see a good, good development should be able to like, like, okay, I know what the anomaly is, let's ignore it, right? Catch it, it's called, that's what a try catch is for. So you try this code, if Target you get an exception filled. or an error, but it seems like I don't even know that a try catch would work because it doesn't even seem like we're grabbing, we're not getting an exception at all. Thank you, Zeke. All right. Thanks, Matt. You guys are awesome. What did they Target say? Target filled. What is tick filtering? All right. Here we go. I'm lazy and don't want to read this. Navigation, so. configuration options, market data, real time tick filter. What is tick filtering? Tick filtering is a function where each Target incoming fill. tick is Target evaluated fill. in relation to the last known price and if it is outside of a user-defined percentage value, the tick is thrown away and not distributed to any ninja trader object that requires market data such as advanced charts or strategies. This prevents data spikes from showing on your charts and can also prevent unwanted actions taken by automated strategies due to a data spike. Bingo! How does it work? A bad that? tick is detected if the tick price is less than the last That's valid the traded Target price. Filled. Last That's traded great. price asterisk one. Yes, its entire purpose is for automated system to not do something weird off of some weird spiked tick, whatever, in the data. Now, okay, percent off market. So it's based off of this right here. So how far off is it? You basically want to set this to a really low value. The question is, is how low will they let me put this? So their suggestion is that it's 0.1. I mean, I could do lower than that, but what's target lower? Filled. What's target lower filled. Target filled. Well, do they do less? I mean, if you can I do 0.05, I don't know if they're going to let me do that. Right, but... Um, I mean, basically, we might just be running into a data thing. Make sure you got filter bad ticks turned on, I guess. Um, Enable market recording for playback. Uh, yeah, and I mean, you gotta have, you know, if you had perfect data, you'd, you know, you'd be able to do it perfectly. But so I do think that it comes down to this, you know, it is the market data because like, look, I did the same exact test on historical and we broke, right? So something in that, you know, it's not filtered, right? The filtering of the bad ticks wasn't there. I don't know. Very weird. Target filled. Um, this ran through the whole day. Are you kidding me? Okay, so that was at 30x target filled 30x speed. Okay, so the whole day for today doing nothing. No, no filters, no, no helping it along. Target filled completely full auto, no cadence filter, no assistance, no increase, decrease. I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, that's pretty good to me. See if I can press close. All right, so I just press close. Let's see if it will fire off the next trade. Should. See if we can really mess it up. Because I did. I did. I mean, I did this in QA. I had no problems. I was sitting there like, I'm, I'm executing on stuff. Your machine will not do it. Will you tell me what does that mean? Your machine will not do it. What is it? It. What is it? Not do it. Um, 
Okay, it's at 14 o'clock. Let's go faster. Let's go to 100x speed. See if we can crank it and break it. Okay, Target so filled. Look up to taking trades. Uh, I'm going to change quantities. Let's go to like four. One, two, three, Target four. Target filled. Look, look how fast it cranked that out. Bam, 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 bam. Look at that. Bam, 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 bam. Eight contracts. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Target four filled. Again. Boom, boom, boom. Go all the way up to eight. Uh, so full 16, this should be a full 16 contract trade on the next trade. Let's see what happens. 100x speed. Wow, look at that. It's cranking it. No problem. Increases the market replay of all types. Yeah, and again, I do think it's still... Some things are... I don't know. Seems like they might be local, trying different days. Are you saying it's not working on different days? Target filled. Tar target filled. Like it never works on any day ever? Um, let me jump on a voice. Yeah, so I'm gonna hop back in here. If you guys want to come chat with me so you're not having to type back and forth, too much of a delay. I'm gonna hop into the live uh live room there and y'all have come have a chat with me. Tell me talk more specifics. All right, I'm in the live chat there. Um hop in there, Don, and come have a chat with me. Tell me, tell me what you've been trying, what you've been seeing, what's going on with it. Okay, there's the day getting nuts. Okay, I actually want to run this all the way back to 8 a.m. now. That all works just fine. Don't have audio hooked up. <clears throat> Filter tick point one lowest you can go. Is that the lowest you can go? Okay, yeah. So, yeah, I mean it's basically an trader is trying to do all they can to do that, and you know maybe they're filtering it afterwards and they're catching it later, which is why like when you download market replay data, the way that that works, you're literally pulling it from their server after hours. Historical is doing its best. I say best guess, I would say, but even that that's coming from their data as well. That's that's coming from coming from the <laughs> yeah uh let's see so we're gonna go enter next and continuous and we're gonna crank it up a bit we go four contracts and we're gonna run it at 50 instead of 30, and then we're gonna crank it up to 100. And again, I had no problems with these in general when I was, uh, I don't even say in general, I had no problems on any day. Y'all were giving me dates and I was running them and it was like, oh, target cool, no filled, problem. target filled. Target filled, target filled. Um, Comes 850. So before we are cranked, yeah, see, it's weird. Look at this. The historical data would have already cracked on me. Target filled. Target filled. Um, see if I can. Okay, cool. Yeah, um, or call me up, Don. You got my phone number, bro. Call me. Get on a call. Call me on your phone, bro. 
But you should also, just as a tip for everybody, I mean, you should have Discord on your phone. Target Guys, filled. Discord's on your phone. Like, it works just like a telephone. Oh, I don't have the mic hooked up on my Target computer. filled. So All Discord on your phone. I don't like, I don't like apps on my phone. <laughs> living in 20, living in Target filled. Target oh, filled. Oh, my phone, bro. Your phone's not a phone, bro. Your phone is a... A miniature computer. Target it. filled. It doesn't look like a phone. It looks like a computer. Target screen. filled. Hold it up and look at it for a minute. It looks like a monitor. You're literally carrying a monitor. Around target, target filled. Target filled. Target filled. Target filled. Target filled. Right. Target filled. There it is. 4K. I'm done. I am done. We. <laughs> I, I mean, what what else do you want? Like, we literally just crushed 4K right there. All right, now, a couple things. Let's add a few more things. Our indicators. I have... Let's check some of the other stuff. All right, I legitimately know... If you guys said some other... Like, color code filtering, I'll find that out. That could be a genuine, absolute genuine... Yeah, it's a 7-inch monitor, exactly. How big are phones? I don't even know. Six inch. All uh, right, speed. I'll turn on speed. Um, I'll do Mac filtering in a minute. But make sure that if speed's on, audio is about ten times louder than Vinny. Oh, is it? I can crank back the desktop audio. I'll put it back to fifty. There we go. Um, all right, turn it on. Continuous. Boom. I just did a uh, test on. 5-2 at okay. like 9.30 a.m. at the open, and I the had five it on two. max. 5-2 is a month ago. Okay, a month ago, yeah. And I had it on max speed for replay. Oh, yeah. And even at the open, it hasn't crashed yet or done anything weird. And Beautiful. I even I even did it with a quantity of 20 or 10. Nice. So it was open it was opening up like 20 contracts. Okay, and it good, man. I was starting, good. I was, thank you for that. Cause I was starting, I mean, I was sitting here like, I'm starting to doubt myself. I'm like, bro, I ran this stuff in QA, like hardcore, trying to break this stuff, hardcore, hardcore. And I'm like, I could not find a day like today. It was really weird. Now, mind you, it might just be today. Like, what's funny is we might pull the same data on Sunday. Yeah, I don't know how Ninja Trader does their thing, you know, behind the scenes. Like, how do they get their data? And, and is it just them or is it on CQG data side? And does CQG at the end of the day, when they, do their uh, account reconciliations? Does that change the data? I don't know. I really don't know also, what kind of cleanup. There might be a cleanup process uh, at the end. Also, and maybe the cleanup process hasn't completed because we're still trying to do it on a Friday, right? It might have been a mistake trying to do Friday. It might have done yeah. any other day and we might have been fine. I don't know. And uh, I did a 24 uh, 7 test earlier uh -huh. where I ran it from 501 to 55 and it didn't crash at all. Wow. How about speed. that? Okay. And I'm only on a i7 9700K. Oh, and back down to the i7. So I am concerned about this whole multi-threading thing. Like, your problem with that. Okay, let me speak back to that. What version of NinjaTrader are you on? The most recent. Oh, good. 8116. Okay, cool. So, you know, and I thought, well, you know, is, am I, I'm on an old one that I kind of call a stable. It was like stable before they went to, I'm like, bro, I knew they were going to have problems. As soon as they were like... We're changing the whole database back in and we're changing this. I'm like, bro, it's going to be broke. <laughs> I was right. I mean, I'm a software developer. I just know how it is. I don't care how good you are. I mean, I consider myself pretty good. Curtis is good. He's awesome. And, you know, if we're coding something, we're going to have issues. They're going to be, we're going to have bugs, right? There's no way to avoid. You cannot think of every single scenario all in one fell swoop unless the code is very simplistic, right? So, you know, but when you're running, working with complex stuff with multiple parts and different pieces and whatnot, yeah, you're going to have failure. So, um, but yes, now that they're on 8116, I am hoping they're stable, especially when they're forcing everyone by the 23rd. I actually hope there's a 117 that comes out before I get it. Like, I'm literally rooting for, like, come on, go ninja, go find more bugs, solve more problems, you know, and get me another version before I have to go over to that thing where who, how many of you guys are annoyed as you know what beep to have to log into your ninja trader every single time? All right, like. Why are they having you log in and having to type in username and your password every single time? There's no way to save it. Crazy, in my opinion. Yeah, I hate uh, it. Because I mean, how many? Especially when you have crashes. 
like as a QA and after I'm deving, like, do you know how annoying that is going to be? Like, oh, crash, now I got to type in using a password again every single time. And yeah, sure, I can, you know, I've got little apps and little short. I can, you know, have it override and pop in passwords. But it's like, it's, it's super annoying, right, to have to do that. Um, so it just seems like, you know, like if they're going to go all the way, then go all the way. Like, don't be, why didn't they just hold off a little bit? Like, they're rushing to get stuff done. I mean, I, I get it, but. I don't want to. I don't want to sound super complainy, but come on. All right. Um, continuous on. That was good. That was a good test. And I was about to test six two. Uh, let's do another day. I'm gonna go back to. Um, well, yeah. But thank you for that feedback. And yeah, no, no problems there at all. Boom. Oh, oh, I know. Well, speed. Now. I turned the speed on. So now the speed's on. Let's Target make sure it keeps filled. going. Target, Target filled. Target, Target filled. Target oh, filled. Uh, one more thing about my test I did. Yeah. I I just I had the default e bot uh Enigma Enigma. Bot, Target uh, filled. Target oh, filled. You ran it with everything on it too. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome, bro. That makes me feel better too. Cause I'm like, here I am. I got this all narrowed down. But like, is it? It, what happens when I add the other stuff back on? Is it going to, you know, crank? So you were running it on Max, Target though, and you were filled. doing it, and you're on an i7, right? Yeah. Cranking it. That's awesome. But, yeah, and I mean, I, it was the only chart open. I only had one chart open, but it was the default workspace, so it's not like I took off everything. Yeah. Anything like that. It, it, I mean, and like I said, it was on Max, and I ran it for a whole week. Target filled. That's awesome. Yeah, I appreciate that, and uh, thank you for bringing back my sanity check on me because I'm like, dude, could not. I, but I'm like, of course I'm. I'm Target kind of too dead Target focused on filled. making it work for today because Target I heard a lot of people having Target problems with today. Filled. But yeah, you know, what was going on with today? Was it CQG data? Target and you know filled. what would happen if somebody was running Kinetic? Like I have a Kinetic data feed. Like okay, so what if I was running on Kinetic or if I was Target running filled. on um, Rhythmic, right? Now Rhythmic, I'd usually stay away from that because Rhythmic is the one feeding all these trader funding programs and there's so many people running trader funding programs. Target filled. Target I just feel filled. Like if any servers are gonna go bad, it's gonna be theirs. <laughs> I mean I'm just being honest. Um, oh uh and I don't know if it matters, but I am using the data feed that like the new data feed you get from Ninja Trader. I don't know which one that is. I don't know if that's CQG or oh, good. Continuum or whatever. Yeah, I think it's but, um well Continuum and CQG don't even get me started on like those are the same. I don't know why they have different names. Continuum CQG. They literally like it's continuum CQG versus what? Versus CQG CQG? Like <laughs> I don't understand. Why don't you get the Vinny Jams live on your phone? Hey, what's up, Don? Can you hear me, sir? Uh yep, I can hear you. I hey hear brother, you. how are you, sir? Hey, awesome. Uh so you're on the twelve nine hundred. Um we got yeah. you on Windows eleven, correct? Yeah, Windows eleven Pro. And you got your video card driver all up to date? Uh, I gotta double check that tonight. Okay, that would be one check. Um, and as far as Windows updates, you're pretty much you know you got on Windows 11. You did all the updates. Yes. Cool. Target okay, so now filled. tell me what you're experiencing, kind of as much detail as possible. So you installed. Let me back up to Target version uh, version first. Ninja Trader. What version of Ninja Trader are you running? The two six of Ninja Trader. Perfect. Okay, so that's what I'm on here as well. All right. And Target then filled. you Target uninstalled filled. your old versions. Like, I really need to make sure you uninstalled it. I mean, you got, like, I know you're a Platinum member, so you have to uninstall Platinum as well. Did you uninstall the Platinum and the regular? Yeah, I uninstalled everything. And then okay. I had some other licensing Target issues filled. which we worked through. So great. Curtis got me there. Okay, um, great. So, so I uninstalled several times. I think in the last day I've done four nuclear fixes. Perfect. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. are you, are you okay, comfortable sharing a screen to me here, uh, in public or if you're not, then you don't have to, but uh, you can Target share a screen filled. to me. We can Target try to walk through it right now. Like I'm just watching this thing, crank, crank trades. This thing's running at 50 X with no problems. And I yeah. ran it the entire day this time, the whole day. I just ran the whole thing. So it was, it was a data related thing. Historical data did not work on market replay. But when I went and downloaded the market replay data for today, it's working even on today's data. Although I have had it work on every other single day. So that's the good news. 
All right, so tell me more. Um, well, I mean, of course, the longer I have you on the phone, the longer it'll keep working because it's working okay. Target filled. <laughs> um, this is just the same as calling any customer service. Yeah, man. Uh, the uh, Target filled. The one thing I, so I've been running through different days of market replay here. I'm only running it at 15 times right Target now. Target filled. Uh, but it's stalled out on different days at different times. And the last thing it did is I, I lost the panel and I had to uh, do an F5 to reload the Ninja script. Um, yeah, I, I saw that one time. And every time that it's happened, it's when this data, I mean, it's basically bad data. I'm, I'm narrowing it down to yes. we're getting we're getting bad data. So I'm almost back to like, okay, we actually have to pull market replay data if we're going to do historical stuff um, because you can't rely on historical right now. I don't know why or when that started to happen. But, Target filled. Uh, Target well, filled. Running it on um, the market replay. Oh, you're so. actually going and downloading the individual days? I, yeah, it's part of my routine. I download okay. all of them. So I've got a huge folder of market replay data. Oh, good. <laughs> okay. Um, now, remind Target me who your filled. service is. Are you CQG, Kinetic? Who are you using? Yeah, I'm with AMP, so I'm CQG. CQG, um, perfect. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, I mean there, could be, there could be differences in their data. And I mean, I would get down to the point of, like, if we keep having these, like, to go, okay, Target well, what, what is it? You know, maybe I can get a Ninja Trader representative who's super, we yeah. would need somebody super tech. Like, I can't have their level one tech support get on with this. I would need, like, dev level support type of stuff to go tell us, yeah. like, what what is in the data that, like, where, like, show me a spike. Like, look into the tape. Because what it's going to be is, is as you look at a tape, right? You only have yeah. three, it's three columns wide. It's time, right. quantity, price. So I'm wondering, it could be like, are they ever getting something where it's got time and price, but no quantity, right? What happens if you get a null value in there? You know what I'm saying? And yeah, do, I need to, do I need to code for that? To be like, well, what if there's no quantity, right? My system's like, well, I don't have a quantity. What do I do with no quantity, right? And no, trying to, because I'm, I'm doing calculations on how much quantity is coming in. So it could be yeah. if they don't include the quantity for whatever reason, because it didn't show, or I don't know, uh, it's got a zero or a null. What happens when you have a zero or a null value on Target any one of those filled. three columns? Right? I can see that being an issue, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that could Target be... Target fill. Target that fill. Could be a, that could be a thing. Um, so, okay, so, but right now, it looks as, or from what I understand, most of the time yours is working, but if there are particular days, like, give me a day that it's broken. I want to try it. I'm going to go download it. I'm going to see if it breaks on my machine. Tell me, give me a day that it's breaking. Um, well, it just froze up on me again, so. Okay, what day is it? Um, where the heck is that? Is it going to show me? Is it covered up? Probably covered up by something. It shouldn't be. Think? Can't see anything right now. I'm gonna have to like just crash it. Oh, okay, so you don't know. Do you know what yeah, day you're running? I think it might have been the 22nd, May 22nd. 22nd. Um, I thought the 22nd was a Sunday. <laughs> it was. <laughs> okay. That's right. Well, I'm going by memory. I'm going like, what's the number? Oh, uh, hold on. No, no, no. I'm mistaken. I'm mistaken. No, it looks like the 22nd was. Oh yeah, no. I got something like an 80% chance of being right. So. Oh, no, no, 22nd, I apologize, 22nd was a Monday. Okay, let me try that. Let me grab yeah. the 22nd and let's see, let's do it live, here we go. I'm gonna, oh yeah, yes. I'm running two computers, so I'll watch you on the other one and then Very see cool. if I can get this going again here. Very Fire cool. This. So I'm gonna disconnect here from this one and then grab. Said the twenty second. Thank you. Load. Okay. Instrument and this was Nasdaq, right? Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's a single it instrument. Nasdaq. Got it. Yeah, it's yeah. something here that I can share if we have to. Okay, I'm downloading the twenty second. Yeah. Got it. Let's see. All right. Yeah, because I haven't been yet, so. Um... That connection. I'm trying to strip everything away. Like one of the things that I've done, we've talked about, is I'm 
I've, I've moved, moved primarily, primarily to range, range bars, bars from Algomars to, to, to try and limit, limit the, the CPU. Okay, well, what's the test? What is, what is pardon, pardon me? What's the test? Oh, um, um the test. Uh, what I've what been, range? I mean, you said you're not using Algobar, so are you using three oh, range, four yeah, range, yeah. five range? What are you crashing on? Range range bar uh, twos and threes. Twos I've and both. Threes. Okay, so I'll try threes first because I don't I don't think twos are good. Twos. You understand no. what a two, a two range is bad, right? You know you know what a two range is. A two is not really a bar because that's only two no, ticks. No. That's a bid and an ask. It's not a real bar. So you cannot no, no. go to range bar twos. I'm just telling everybody in case you didn't know, you cannot do a two range. Two is not going to yeah, do we, we talk about that, so that's okay. Three range. Yeah. Three range is as low as you can go. All right, cool. In case everybody needs to know. All right, so we're going yeah. to market replay data and we're going. Okay, let's try it. Boom. I'm going to try and build a works. Save as three. Okay, go uh, to. Uh, we're going to go to 8 a.m. Yeah, that's often what I do. Yeah. Okay. And is there a particular speed that you try? You said 15. I've been, so well, since, we, since we've been, uh, you've been streaming, I've been trying like anywhere from 15 to 30. Okay. Start here at 15, here at 8 a.m. And up, I'm going to go to 23. I mean, every one that I was doing, I was cranking them to 100, 500 overnight, no problems. I remember. I was trying to break it. Yeah. I, want, I wanted to break it. I was trying to like, it should not matter. It really should. We should be able to calculate it. No matter what, and you here you go. Two videos. Oh, I guess a couple of days ago, maybe on Wednesday, and they were like at higher speeds. They were like fifty times or hundred times, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So yeah, I was cranking through a bunch. I was cranking through a bunch of stuff and making you know, minor changes. I mean, it looked really smooth. I was going, "Oh, this is great." Hey, uh, uh, I I can show my screen right now. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, let me see. It's running at 50 right now. Oh, we'll do multiple things at once. We're going to. Oh, oops. Wrong screen. All right. Can you see it? It's coming. I got a spinning dial here for a moment. Let's. Sometimes I gotta stop and do, do let's do it up and watch stream again. There we go. All right, yes, I see your screen, brother. Oh. Getting hot oh, now. Wait, wait, oh, look wait, at wait, oh, you on, got everything on. cranked. You got even the market profiler running. Awesome. Order filled. Tar target order filled. Tar target filled. Order filled. Stop filled. Bro, you're cranking. That's an i7? Yes. Ah. <laughs> Wait, an i7 what? Uh, 9700K. It's, it's Target not overclocked filled. either. That's awesome. Target filled. I love seeing that right there. See, I mean, that's that's how, I mean, this is what I thought. This is what I designed. I was like, Target Enigma. Filled. Yes, it's a lot, but see, I'm not drawing crazy stuff. I'll tell you like what takes a lot of processing. All right, our harmonics take a lot of processing, and it really has to do with the way that Ninja Trader forces you to draw. It's their it's their drawing technique thing that kind of really like you know screws the pooch. It's it's their the drawing the harmonics. If you don't have harmonics on a chart, I mean things things go pretty good. Oh, he crashed. Target filled. I didn't crash. I just ended it. I didn't know if you were still watching oh, it. Oh, I was watching it, bro. I was enjoying it. Oh. oh target okay. target filled. I think I still see it, though. Uh, he stopped the live stream. Oh, you see mine, but I've got him up here in the top right. Target filled. I, I just pulled it back up. All right, I'm enjoying it. Oh, I think I'm delayed on my other computer. Order That's where we go. Order filled. 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 Order filled
filled. Target, target filled. filled. Anyway. Okay, so I'm doing, you know, I'm doing your target test here too, filled. Don, right? So the Don, I'm doing the, the 22nd. Order filled. Order filled. I'm running the same, target filled. same game and right now. No problem hey, so uh, far. Up to 1035. I'm running at 50x speed so far. No problems. Okay. This one was at 522 as well. Order okay. Target, target order, filled. Order filled. Stop filled. Order filled. Stop filled. Order filled. Order filled. Stop filled. Yeah, you never know. I mean, it's it could be. There's so many factors. Yeah. And I do want to narrow it down. Like, I want to find out. Like, is it you know, is it twelve nine hundreds? Like, a lot of people on twelve nine hundreds have that issue. And then, okay, so what is it? Is it a particular of you know, maybe it's one of their CPU thread managers or uh, another thing? I always like. I gotta check, bro. Did you check your antivirus? Did you turn your antivirus off again? Target. Well, I've never had one to start with, and I keep running through the the. Uh, Target, the target, performance target, videos and i filled. and i managed to target, turn off real time target permanently. filled not that it's recommended but it's all oh, no i'm just checking to make sure is the real time off did you have real time off is it off yeah yeah and i'll okay. double check here um, i've had to restart a few times today but i mean this is the ultimate test right here like rain is he's running an i7 and this thing is cranking bro yeah, yeah. look how yeah. hard it's cranking Target filled. Oh, yeah, my real time. Awesome. My real time is off. So okay. Tar tar target One thing filled. that came to target mind though, because there was a mention in the Stop room filled. about um, target filled. Order filled. unhandled target exceptions filled. and and closing workspaces with order orders filled. in the order background filled. that were open when Stop. no orders could be found. Order oh, okay. Well, let me say filled. something about that. Target you do filled. need to, you have to clear database. Like I mean, I'm assuming you've already done that. If you haven't, I mean, order, order done it a few Stop times filled. today. Yeah. What? Order filled. Order filled. I really want to get on your machine, bro. I want to see order what's happening. I, I would like to see target, it myself. Target, like I want to see it. So yeah. Think, uh, well, I mean, I just cranked through the 22nd. I had no problem. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm running the 22nd myself right now, and it just stopped. It stopped at what time? I am at uh, what is this? Uh, 10 o'clock, and I'm running it at 50 times. Target at 8 a.m. Okay. Well, I mean, I just ran it, and you're on three range. Uh, yes. yes, I'm a three range. Now I have I more have charts filled. open. I have a total of four charts. Stop I've got filled. like a a wave. Of th oh, I got Tar the three. Filled. I should take that three algo order, off. Order, and then um, Stop Mac filled. V chart. I could kill all those, but uh, order filled. mind you, I haven't cleared Tar my filled. database in a long time, which I probably should. Uh, okay. Order filled. You could. Target you filled. honestly, Tar dude, you could filled. just have order a. You just didn't win on the silicone gamble for your yeah. CPU. I know, I'm concerned with that. Like, yeah, but then, but what we could do, we could play, you know, we could play that game and just start disabling cores, you know, and find out which core of his is bad, you know, like first half, like crank the first half off and then the next half off. And I don't know, but that sucks when you're having to like deal with like turning hardware to a manufacturer and then proving that to them that it's that is. Is your CPU, is it overclocked at all? No, I, oh, I went away from all of that because that was giving me issues. So, stop, um, stop filled. Got rid of that. Just running uh, XMP. Yeah, because I, I I'm not overclocked. I think I only have XMP, and I mean I'm still on DDR4, and Target I only have filled. 32 gigabytes of that. Order filled. Target yeah, filled. Yeah, I'm on DDR4, Order but filled. I went to Order 126. Filled. Target. Order. Whatever. Order so. Filled. Three, or Order what's filled. that be? Uh, three, six, 130. Filled. What's that? 128. 128. Sorry, it's off right now. Uh, Target the, filled. Yeah. The day I'm running this on is on 522. You can't see the playback for some reason, but it's on 522. Here, wait. Yeah, and I'm still running 522 and no problem as well, but it's only, I'm only single chart and whatnot. So again, I would want to do an identical test, right? He's got other things going. He's got, he's, oh, yeah, got Agobar, he's got Agobar threes on, but on the threes, is there another, is there another Enigma? You know, are you running multiple Enigmas? Are you running multiple panels? You know, like we need to know exactly what the tests are. Yeah, so what I'm doing right now is I'm 
I'm starting it back up again. I'm going to strip all that down. So I'll get rid of that chart because it had an enigma. <clears throat> it had the enigma on it. I'd taken off speedy chart. I'd taken off any harmonic. Um, oh, that's a question. Rain, cutting. do you have speedy chart on Target that? Target filled. Y yeah, it's it's default. E that's I, awesome. I, so his I is just... still working Target with the speedy filled. chart options that we changed. That's great news, bro. Because I'm like, bro, that shouldn't have fixed that. That shouldn't have been a problem. Okay, I'm so I'm 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 getting happier and happy every second. Here, wait. I'm getting Let's happier every filled. moment. Target oh, my filled. dog. I'm so sorry. What? Did it hang? Target filled. I'm actually glad it finally hung. Oh no, it didn't. Look, look what time it is. It's Target just that's the filled. end of the day. Yeah. Five fifty one. Oh no, 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 it's not. There's there's ten minutes. Are you talking now. about are you talking about me? Yeah. Uh I, I paused it. I'm I'm doing a different test. Oh you paused but... it. I was like, dude, he froze, he froze, he hung up. Nope. Target <laughs> filled. He's doing hang it on, on purpose. If... Hang on one. I'm a, I'm at four I'm at four K mm -hmm. at three o'clock um on that day. So it's pretty uh pretty good so far. He was starting everything up again. Ooh, look at all the charts he's got now. Ooh. Uh, are you going to run all those? Is it going to work? Uh, I don't know. That's going to be the real <laughs> test, I guess. <laughs> May as well. Let's find out. I mean, right. my, I don't, let's see. Uh, boom, max. Proper QA right here. This is like smash everything. Dude, all of those are work. You have speedy chart on, oh. bro. I'm I'm adding all my shit back. You guys are full of Target shit. Target filled. <laughs> I'm adding it all back. I'm putting everything back on. Target filled. I'm putting it all filled. back on right now. Tar tar no. Target oh, filled. My gosh. Okay, my system just made 8k. I'm done. I am done. We're up 8k <laughs> on the day. We're good. <laughs> 6k. All right. We're good. Um. So that's 22. So I'm going to go back and look at his, look what he's doing. I'm going to go, I'm just going to watch. I'm watching rain, bro. Rain is making it rain. Look at this. He's running one, two, three, four. Charts at one. Bro, <laughs> on an I-7. I told you this shit should work on an I-7. I told you. Yeah. Oh which means, my gosh. Yes. This is, mean, look at this crap right here, bro. This is the video right here. This is the video to solve all video. Anybody who wants to tell me that it doesn't work or ain't working, bro. Look at this guy right here. Now show everybody that prove to everybody that you're running on an i7 so they can't tell us that we're full of shit. I can tell you're running on Windows 11, right? Yeah, 11, uh, 11 Pro, I think. Okay, 11 uh... Pro. And <laughs> just just right click and go to CPU or Task Manager. So. Oh, Task Manager. Yeah, pull a Task Manager and go to the CPUs. It'll tell what the number. Oh, my bad. Hang on. Can't see it because of the playback. Uh. This there it is. 9700K. Guys, but look, he's at 4.5 gigahertz. I told you, if you're over 4.5, you should be okay. This guy is cranking. I don't even know how many charts he's got here. One, two, three, four. He's got five versions of this running on Algobar ones. On the ones. A... So don't come and tell me that, oh, this is buggy. Bro, it's your computer. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <we'll> just... <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll figure it out. Look, we're all gonna figure it out. I'm just, I need these, you know, these tests to go. Okay, look, it's something with data on occasion. I'm sure, like, look, his, he's probably gonna have the same problem if he were to grab today's data. In fact, let's break it. Rain, you proved to me it works. Let's do this. Let's break the thing. Go to five two. But I want you to do historical data. Okay. So the thing that kept breaking for us today, whatever. I'm sorry, not five two, six two. Uh, okay. six two. That's today, June second. Today's data is breaking people's uh -huh. stuff. I don't know what's going on with today's data coming in. Um, so yeah, so to, get to get that, it. now don't do, no, don't do market replay data, do historical. I, I did get it to work when it was not historical. We, uh -huh. want, we want regular historical, so you'll need to connect to your normal thing. Just go to your connect. Oh, okay. That'll pull today's uh -huh. data. Oh, no, not that. Oops. This will pull today's data into historical. Hang on, I gotta wait all the charts to load. <laughs> Dude, and it still works. Just the fact that it's working on an i7. Yes, it's a, it's a 4.5 gigahertz. 
But this is what I've said before. Your machine should run just fine, 4.5 gigahertz or above. You know, you do have an i7 at that level. That's great. And in theory, you know, more should be more. But like, I'm realizing, I don't know, man, like something's up with these latest core stuff. I think it's all these people trying to do, you know, they're upping and downing your core voltage and all this other kind of stuff, I guess. I don't know. So, um, all right, so you're going to have to, I've always done it. Through no, you don't need to do any of this. You don't need to do any of this stuff. You get watch. You don't oh, know. Okay. All you need is just, it just close all this. Just do what I tell you to do here. Just so you've already connected. That's it. It's yeah. now in your historical. You already have the historical now. So now disconnect from your current live connection or which is called simulation connect, and then connect to playback. And yeah, like this? yeah, yeah that's fine. Oh, I'm sorry. As that. Right here, I think. Continue. Continue. Yeah. What's weird is, is I think you here. You'll see when that comes up. Switch that from market replay at the top to historic. Okay. When, when it when it comes up and available. Yeah, I've I've, I've always, always done, done market replay. I've never done historical data. I didn't know if there was. Yeah, historical is just kind of a cheat, because. Um, you see how it says it's less accurate, generally has less accuracy yeah. than blah, 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 blah. And I don't know what that now, means for them. Maybe they can like be specific about how or why, but this should, in theory, break. We'll see. Uh, but if it works on your machine, then I'm really going to be pissed because I couldn't get this to work even on my machine. And I'm going to be like, fuck it, I'm getting an i7. <laughs> <laughs> the only the reason, reason why my computer, computer, might, like, the only reason why my computer <laughs> might crash right now I'm, is I'm because turning it's trying all to my e I'm turning off all my e-cores. <laughs> okay, so e cores only or whatever that crap. Uh, yeah, I guess I have to do that, and then. Uh, no, you want to start. Start needs to be the same. Oh, it didn't let me. It had. To say, oh, it's because it's the end. Okay, I got you. It's done here in a second. We'll go go to, and then we'll go eight a.m. on eight two for start. A minute just the fact that your computer hasn't crashed yet i mean it's a pretty good sign you can literally no, have think... everything loaded all of that speedy chart all the stuff that i've got in the standard default layout which again oh, i God. it should have worked to begin with uh, oh hang on yeah. oh no this is normal i am actually excited this this is actually normal it having to do all this this is perfectly normal this is what i would like to see this is on ones like i know how intensive this is to be on algobar ones and the for this all to be working is great on... The only chart that's on threes right now is this one, just because I wanted to see if somehow that would help it crash, but okay. it didn't. So, but it's still four charts on Algobar's one. There we go. All right, go to, and we want 6 to uh, uh, 8 a.m. Yeah, hang on. It's yeah, still no, loading. It's still loading, yes. Yeah, <laughs> but the fact that yours just keeps going, like it just keeps going and keeps going. I love it. I'm more concerned now that like there's a P cores and E cores problem with some of these i9s because I mean the fact that it's just so smooth on i7 is just fantastic, but it's also unnerving as well. But that means we should be able to downgrade or downplay an i9 to i7 capabilities and be just fine. Also, what you need is the speed of the core. I want the speed. I don't care about how many cores. And if some other process is trying to take over or something and it's blocking or and that actually, by the way, that's back to Ninja Trader. Like they would have to handle how threading is acting. We have no control over how the threading goes. What time was it crashing for everyone? Right at open? 8.46. One well, and then nine twelve ish and nine forty eight. There's three places that it can hang up for me on the historical data connection. Now, right. mind you, we're after hours, big time after hours now. So does Ninja Trader do a cleanup at the end of the day? Does CQG do a cleanup? And when you just pulled your most recent data, you know if it works just fine, I'm going to go on mine and I'm going to do the same test again. And if all of a sudden it's working, I will tell you. Then that means that they were in the middle of a cleanup process earlier today when I started pulling the data. And that's just the way that I'm going to conclude possible. it because this is the only day that I've had problems is on 6-2. The other thing, I've had no problem. So I'll be able to run this test in about 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Let it load here. Let's... 
Oh my god, I think it reset it back to... Oh, Jesus. What? Let's just go ahead and max this out for now. And then go to again. Boom. Oh, did we? Did you accidentally click something? or? No, I, I went to up it to max and it reset it back to... Oh, don't uh, go to max. Level. Okay, first of all, do not do max. I, I'm, I'm asking you to set it to like... Oh, 50, I didn't 50 know that. I'm sorry. 100. 50 or yeah, 100. Don't expect right, like bad. max is going to break. Need a normal test, 50 to 100. Yeah, I got you. Sorry. Now, I do think you do have, you know, another advantage like what you are doing. You are running the latest version of Ninja Trader, and in theory, they should have cleaned up you know, some issues. In fact, I know that there is a limit order problem on the... <laughs> yeah, Tommy's like, I'm literally getting rid of my and I go back to my i7 in my closet. Yeah, I got an i7 laying over here on my desk, too, man. I'm about to... <laughs> I tell you, if this fixes and works, bro... I do not care because I'm just here to make money, bro. I just want to. I just want to click the buttons and I just need the system to work. So if it works on an i7, bro, I'll, I'll do it. Oh, all of a sudden yours is manifesting the flashing issue. Flashing is on historical. That's fascinating, bro. That's weird. You were not flashing earlier. You see all this weird flashing stuff going on? That was no. I was flashing earlier. earlier. Oh, was it like this? Uh, yeah. Uh, not as bad. No, definitely it was not, not as bad. A, it was, it was I mean, just... I didn't. I didn't notice it. That was, this is, whoa, it's going crazy. Okay, but you're at 930 and still it's okay. All right, now let's crank it to 100x. All right, now let's just, let's just let it sit. Let's see. Break at around 940. I am perfectly happy sitting here. If it's like it's going normal speed because of how much i mean you are cranking i will tell you what you're doing to your machine right now this is cranking <laughs> for your machine to be able to keep up with this i mean i would put my hand over your cpu right now and you could keep it warm all right you could probably cook egg inside of your computer right now that's good this is running hot that is it's no, i know the level of calculations going on right there with this on the ones that's insane that it's working at all it's Particularly my on computer nice isn't thing. my computer really isn't that hot. It gets hotter playing video games. <laughs> well, it's, it's I love it. But it, my CPU is also liquid cooled, but it's from oh, a he's got a liquid cooled i7. Hold up, let's all bow down. Hold on, everybody bow down <laughs> because he's just, it, it's that, a, it's, because on a liquid no, cooled. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> it's like a liquid cooler from Wish.com. It's a no name. <laughs> <laughs> liquid cooler Bro, this guy's running on a make a wish computer and it's better than everybody's i9 i'm done i'm buying an i7 this is stupid i'm i'm pulling an i7 back out he's running on a wish that's awesome you always hear how much crap and stuff that comes off a of wish is and uh, it's like oh really like hold if on. you like, like, I, like hold my beer I got, the, I got the computer from i buy power and i edited some of the components and I could never find like the liquid cooler on Amazon or anything different to see like what the reviews were on it. Uh -huh. so I don't know if it's just something they bought off like Wish.com or something. I don't know, but so far it's been. Uh, well, you hit the jackpot, good. bro, dude! I am so jealous of your computer right now. Like hmm. I literally don't think that my i10. Could... Now, mind you, yes, I'm. I mean, it might. I just realized earlier. I mean, this could be some of my live streaming. Live streaming. I've got it set to 30 FPS. Well, uh, it could be overriding that. I don't know. I just lost the panel again. Lost the panel again. Well, I mean, I do want to duplicate what he's doing here. He's running on the latest version of Ninja Trader. So, I mean, I'm willing to like try that because, dude, he just didn't. He didn't even have a problem. He just smoked that whole thing. He's at seven. He's 947 now. He's past the 946 thing. He's on the ones. The shit just which I, right through. I always figure it's something to do with my configuration, but I don't know what it is. I yeah, I mean, I want to figure out what mine is too. Oh, I mean, he is on Windows 11. I'm on 10. I mean, we got all. There's a lot of different things that are different. Right. This That's makes true. me so happy, folks. I got a live recording right here of him running on the ones. No problems whatsoever. So this means there are some other configurations that are here somewhere in the mix or some application. All right, I want to back up a few things. Question. Question one. Do you have a Corsair keyboard? Uh, no. Oh, so he's not running IQ. Okay, I just did turn off IQ. Don, oh. 
Do you have IQ running right now? I do. Turn off IQ. To... Step one, turn off IQ. So I actually turned it off earlier because I actually have seen there was some kind of little weird bug with IQ recently. I, and I noticed off. that the IQ um, memory, like they've got some kind of memory leak in IQ because like all of a sudden you look at Corsair executable, its memory just goes up and up and up and up. So how do you, and, how do you turn it off? And can't just so go to your task manager. See how I did right here That's, down to oh, my yeah, task okay. manager. It's in a task manager, right click and yeah. then right click and kill IQ. Let me find that. Yeah. Cause that'll, that'll do it. So they leave it on all the time. Yeah, and that's what I thought too. I'm like, okay, so I know I, I know that one's running, but that's why I went with an absolute bare QA machine here, taking off everything. And what I had noticed was, yeah, when IQ is running the Corsair.exe, in fact, I'm going to try to find it here. H-I-P-P. -P. I, I have a Razer uh, keyboard and a Razer mouse. Oh, there's IQ. A hey, Corsair service is still on mine at 90. Look, look, look at this. Not doing anything on my keyboard, but watch the KB is going to go up. It's at 91, 380. Saw it move a second. Uh, I don't know if you looked, Vinny. I, I changed it to max, though, and it still hasn't crashed. I'm watching, bro. I'm watching. Crazy. It's at 10 a.m. max, not crashing, not hanging at all. Okay, will you pull up your CPU and so we can watch the CPU if it fluctuates or not? Because one thing about the i9s, they fluctuate. Well, no, yours is fluctuating normal too. Look, you're 4.58. You're not totally pegged at 4.5. So you're 4.57, 5.8. Well, I mean, that is pretty close though. Okay, now right click in that area where all of the graph is and show logical processors. Okay. Oh. I think oh, did finally... we finally hang? Yeah. Finally. It looks like it. Time. Like I, well, I see it is on my other computer. I wonder if I'm on just delayed here. Frank, I'm going to read now, this window. See what happens. Interesting is you were actually using multi cores. Look at all the cores yours was using. Okay. Bro, did Ninja Trader 7, I'm sorry, did Ninja Trader 6, their multi thread, bro, if they, if they have helped and fixed some of their multi threading problems, they're able to multi thread now across multi chart. Because look, you're only on NASDAQ. What used to happen was you could, if you had <laughs> six charts across NQ, it wouldn't use six threads, it would use one because right. it was per Ninja Trader. I just saw all of his cores were going. Across, now uh -huh. he's, it, it could only be multiple charts because he does not have multiple instruments. So if they fix that, bro, I am upgrading today. I will go get Ninja. I will bow to that. I will start typing in my username and password every freaking day, every <laughs> moment, every time. I do not care. If they fix the multi-threading thing, count me in. They finally fixed that shit. Holy crap, count me in. I've been, I've been so hoping my, they would fix that for forever. They should have fixed that a long time ago, in my opinion. I'm down with it. Chris, it, it crashed at 1019 but it was on max. So that could have played yeah. a factor in it that it was on max because I wanted it to try to crash. Yeah. Well, I, I'm going to, okay. Bro, I'm going to try to run that same thing. Let's see if I can do that. I want to do it right now. I want to go to 6.2. Break this bad boy. I want a historical. Grab 6.2. My machine better be able to do this on one chart. <laughs> I'm going to be pissed. And I am, I am going to go get, I am going to go. I don't know. I am going to downgrade and pull my i7 back out. I'm going to go and get Ninja Trader Butthole Edition, whatever, 8116. <laughs> I'm going to stop calling them Butthole. I'm going to send them a, a softly worded letter and an apology and thanks for finally fixing their multi threaded. Yes, I will. I am down with it. That would be way cool. Force me to go whatever version they want. I am down with that. Okay, historical. This was 6 2. We started it at. 9.30 a.m. I'm going to do that as well. 38. Oh, and then I'm going to put it on Algobar 1s. Which is definitely not working already. And... Oh. 
our old school version here. Ooh. Set it up on this one. One day, a boom. Now, in comparison, get my look at my CPU. I'm running. I've I've stabled my I've stabilized mine pretty well. Yeah, I'm stable at like five point zero. So, in theory, mine is about you know five hundred hertz faster per CPU than yours. Okay, so we're gonna watch this. We're gonna watch a okay, five point one. There we go. I'm at five point one. All right. Now we are on Algobar ones. I am about to run this. At, I just want a measly fifty. He was going way faster than that. I got historical turned on. I'm on the ones. You had arm long, arm short, intercontinuous. You were set to remind me what uh, were you on bigger? What was the target? Uh, bigger. Okay, I thought so. So nothing different there. Um. Okay, here we go. I'm ready. Now. Oops, I forgot to hit enter continuous. Er. Target filled. Target filled. Target filled. Target filled. Target filled. Bro, my shit's working. Target filled. All right. Oh, and Target yes. filled. Target filled. Go ahead. Target filled. Target say, and filled. Like, th Target this is filled. running a lot Target better filled. than Target it would on filled. like the regular uh, Algobox cha uh, chart Tar setup. Target filled. For some reason, I don't know. What does that mean? Like uh, the Algobox uh, standard 180p, like that default workspace. This yes. eBot workspace with all these charts was running a lot better than that one. Oh, but I guess yeah, that's because it doesn't of... have harmonics. I've already, I already know yeah. that. I've already, yeah. I've already answered that. If you do not have harmonics, your machine will be better. Okay, it's just a fact. And harmonics, though, are awesome. Okay, so mine hung at 1010. Oh, look, there we go. So, no, I mean, still, something is, something is different, man. Oh, my word. Okay. This, the mystery still goes on. I, I couldn't do what you just did. Uh, now, I've got it down to one thing. I don't even know. Like, how do you even start to explain that? There's a lot of ways. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of things that are different. We got different, all kinds of stuff, hardware-wise. Um, yes. I did notice something. I want to point something out, though. Look at my Corsair thing. I'm come back to this Corsair. I'm... I have sworn by the Corsair stuff for forever. But look thing. It's always picking up. Their gaming headset drivers, ask uh, a background service, my games and stuff. Oh, there's input host service, gaming services from Xbox. Ah, oh, it could be a lot I'm of gonna things. Do, I'm going to do one more test starting at 10 o'clock mm -hmm. and see what happens. Our next question. So we know for sure you don't have the Corsair keyboard, but do you have the Logitech G300S? Nope. What? Bro, if it's these, uh, if it's these controller app things, I have I'm a livid pissed. I have a, a Razer Huntsman keyboard and a Razer mouse and a... Uh, hang on. The HyperX headset. Because I can tell you, here's something I've always been concerned. Logitech forces you to have their G Hub thing, but G300S, fattest ass mouse of all time, but they have to have this backward compatible old software. And then there is Logitech G Hub. So, you know, could these, like, are these interfering? And I want to say interfere because. You know, input devices have to constantly be polling. And my polling rate, do I have my polling rate up so high that it's having to constantly poll? And I don't know. I'm, I'm literally, I'm stretching here big time only because 
like I can't explain these anomalies. These are very odd anomalies. It's inconsistent across different people's machines, but like the consistency is, okay, you're telling me at a lower end machine without the normal stuff that we normally have, you do run Logitech. So, but Raising Cane, can you get on a mic? From what I understand, you were not having any issues either. Yours is running better. And, but you said no Corsair. And again, yeah, like which of these are conflicting with one another? Do you know? Do, should it be all Logitech? Should it be all, or you know, is it all the same thing? You've got Razor, right? So is it all all Razor? And then like eliminate the Logitech G Hub uh, that's having to sit there and hold my mouse. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't have any of like the Razor Synapse. I think that's their software. I don't have that open don't... either. I leave okay, that so all. you're just using straight up Windows. Yeah. We'll see. That could be another one. I haven't even started to pull that out of the mix, but I could. I can kill all these. Let's uh, this one. No G Hub. Now this might lose my mic. Let's see if I am I gonna lose my mic if I do that. Let's see. My mic's still working. Test test one two. Nope, still working. That's cool. No Logitech G Hub. No Logitech whatever. Corsair. Um, I just killed the Corsair service, but let's go. Their Corsair items. This is Raising Cane. I'm here now. Hey, how you doing, sir? Pretty good. So tell me about tell me so about keyboard, 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 keyboard mouse keyboard situation. Mouse. What do you got? Um, I'm running. I have a. Uh, uh, they're. They're both uh, G Hub or Logitech. I got a 502X or G 502X mouse. That actually like makes me feel better, better just because it's still Logitech and it's still okay. Yeah, and I have the G915, G915 keyboard, uh, and I, I keep G Hub running all the time because I use this, you know, the they have the G1 through G5 keys that I use for the shortcut keys. Yeah, that's the main thing. You do need to have that. You need to have something on the left-hand side of your keyboard. I don't really care if it's Corsair or not. As long as it's got the Gs on the left, you should be fine. And your keyboard, you do have that. Yep. It's good. Um, yeah, I got yeah, I two got buttons, buttons on the side of, of my mouse, which is just perfect, perfect for screenshot. screenshot. So, yeah, so yeah, I just I ran 6.2 six two at max yeah. speed and everything on it, on it, speed chart, everything, and it flew right through it. No, no stalls at all. Own experience. Office. Ordered by memory. Next, <clears throat> could be Logitech overlay. Hold up, games as well. Uh, there's that Corsair service still running again. I already killed that once. Is it start back up again? that already why is that okay build a bunch of stuff <clears throat> i know my video cards up today because i just did that the other night all right i'm going to try this test again i'm going to do exactly what i just did now i am going to clear all data First, and I'm going to go get new fresh data because there is still the outside chance that at after seven o'clock we're now approaching eight o'clock that they could have cleaned their data after hours. So and sadly, we still have to keep that into perspective. All right, test, test number two is uh, seven, seven charts, charts. Um, at ten ten a.m. at thirty times speed. All right, I got. I'm looking at your stream. I see it. While you're doing that, I'm going to start trying to launch mine because, bro, I just want to be able to do what you're doing on an i7. <laughs> like, I will uninstall everything I have to be able to get it to work. Like, if it's it's some innocuous thing or one of my keyboards, mice, whatever, dude, Corsair, all y'all can kiss my butt. I will. Corsair is the problem, bro. If I find out it's Corsair, I'm down with it. I am done with it. I'll make new videos around it. I will get. The new uh, Logitech. Which keyboard did you say? Can you share in our chat, uh, Kane? What uh, which keyboard you got? And you said as long as it got the G seven or G one through five on the or G one through six on the left hand side, I'm good. Yeah, I'll so, link it. But it's the uh, nine fifteen wireless, wireless tactical. Is it mechanical? 
Uh, it is, but they're kind of mushy. They're they're not membrane though. Okay. Yeah, they're probably the optical. Uh, I hear they're I hear they're laser mechanical, mechanical, from what I understand. understand. Yeah, so it's it's like that. Yeah, the which is it's still better. Um, but I still just I don't I don't like the clacking. Um, okay, cool. Let's um. That I have, I have their, their softest, softest version. They don't clack. At oh, all. oh, well then sign me up. Send me a link, bro. I'm hitting the buy now button. Amazon, give me the Amazon <laughs> link. I'm buying. I'm pressing the buy now button. I'll test. I'll test it myself. I am down. I did. Yeah. Because we need to narrow this down. We need to find out what it is. And if there's a commonality to it, you'd be surprised. Once you start to reach this level of like, okay, what's the... Con it, it's some sporadic thing, then yes, it could absolutely be something that is interrupt requests, right? This is IRC, IRQs, interrupt requests that could be happening. And the higher the pull rate, you know, I set my pull rate pretty high to 1,000. You know, is that too high, right? They else setting it to a lower. Like, do you even know what your pull rate is on your mouse? Where do you go to look? I'll look real fast. Uh, it depends. Every software is different. You said you have Razer. Mine's oh, really oh, high. I'm at like 8,500. Okay, so yeah, okay, super so high. Yeah, but super if you're fine. doing that that high and it's no problem, then good. Then and it's not that. Um, but you're also with that one. You're not using the old, um, the old version of G Hub, basically. Uh, but the G300, because they've never done an update, I wish they would just update and do a new G300, which I'm about to start writing a stronger worded letter to Logitech to be like, look, get the G300S into the modern day. Let's go. Like, this was an awesome mouse back in the day. Why are y'all not recreating another one that's on your new Logitech G Hub um, thing? So, okay, cool. Sorry, I'm going off on a oh. tangent. Let's get, I want to oh, yeah. test this out. Yeah. You know what's even funnier is I have the Discord app too. That's what's opened as well. Good. Good to hear. Good. So that it's not even that interfering. That's great. Um, yeah, I'm able to see yours. I'm watching yours crank, bro. You're you're cranking on an i7 with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven charts, bro. I have seen other people like just it just does that just doesn't even work. Not on the ones like that's awesome. Um, show your CPU again. I want to see like how many cores are running. If Ninja Trader fixed that in their newest version, bro, I am I'm switching this weekend, bro. Yeah, let's watch that for a minute. Got equal one, two. Oh, that's weird. Every time I open up Task Manager is when it freaking crashes. Oh, into yeah. Trader. And, but you know what? That's good to know. Like I said, it could be an interference thing. It's what we might have been having this whole time. Go ahead and close it out and let's see if we can get back then. What time did it freeze? 1040. Okay. We'll make a note, restart that test, and this time don't yeah. open Task Manager. All right. Hang on, let me. Oh yeah, we're getting deep, baby. You love this advanced investigation, yeah, bro. We're getting deep now, baby. <laughs> we are, we are deep in the weeds. We are gonna find right. this damn weed. We are gonna find the root of this whole BS. I am not playing around. This is some BS. There is something in common. We're gonna find out what it is. And I am, I am leaning more towards interfering, interfering, interrupt requests at this point. Hey, buddy. Hi. How are you doing? Oh, did you get the mommy's not about that? Drink those. I'll make sure. All right, where those? Big trouble, Mister. What? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be in trouble. You come in here and take. Mommy's gonna be upset at you for that one. Better bring him back. Okay, go put it back. But yeah, one of my biggest complaints about the new update is having to log in every single time. Oh yeah, that's, that really annoys me. But um, that might be like a trade of eight thing since they bought out trade of eight. Right. But even then, they should still be allow you to store local. Like yeah. I don't mind having a username and password. I do not mind that at all. It's the fact you have to type in it every time you launch. Come on, man. And we're in the age of technology where we like store them in our browser, we store them in an app, or like tell you know log me in for a few days, like save a damn cookie or something mm -hmm. on my machine. Let me not have to log in every single time. Uh, all right, sorry, what did I do here? Uh, playback connection, closing, say yes. All right, I'm going to do a clear.
Start up. Uh, see, Don said he froze at 10.22 on the 2nd. Okay, but I think mine did too. If we can uh, narrow this down. I'm going to check that. So I'm going to so, get fresh. I'm getting fresh data. Yes. Yeah, my last That's test was ran from 10.10 to 10.40. And it crashed right at 10.40, like 14 milliseconds or whatever. Okay. Yeah, and Sorry. we'll see if it happened to do because we opened that up or not. Or if it crashes at 1040 again, that's actually good. I would like to see it crash on a specific set of data. That would be awesome because then that's diagnosable and then we can go down towards. Uh, okay, hang on. Yeah, I'm yeah. still working on getting everything back up and running. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. I'm pulling mine up still as well. And... Connection. All right. Hmm. Gonna... Oops. Okay, I've got a fresh set of historical. I've already cleared the other stuff. I'm even going to second hand things. Okay. <clears throat> Mine, there, mine's also almost. set to normal. Normal. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to get the test. I mean, the way that that's supposed to work, the operating system. It's supposed to interrupt different processes. Oh, so it's supposed to know when. It's supposed to, like, okay, cool. It's supposed to how to handle things. Most active app, priority, etc. Okay. And we're going to go continuous M and play. Here. Go crank X. All right. And I'm live again. About to start the test. Oh, yep. I see you. Good. All right, mine's running now as well, and um, I want it to work. You crashed at nine forty, Matt. Okay, good. Like that was that's consistent on historical. Now, Matt, which um, bars were you running? On your crash. Target filled. All right, here's where we crashed last time. And we just made it past where we crashed last time. Target filled. So, I've cleared both previous crashes. Target filled. Uh, but both Target times filled. when it crashed, I had just opened up the resource monitor on Task Manager. Yeah, and what's well, funny, so think about what that Target means. Target filled. That's an interrupt, right? Yeah. That is an interrupt, and it Target doesn't know what to filled. do. You're like, it's like, hey, I'm filled. trying to call that thread, Target and you're still filled. trying to push me forward. So I'm actually Target good with that because that, uh, that also alludes to the fact that it could be one of my conflicting executables. It could Target be filled. our Corsair because if a lot of our guys are having this issue, oh, shibits. All right, mine just hung at 10.04. Oh, I turned a lot of stuff off. Let me see. Oh, this is so frustrating. Sounds like you need a i7-9700K. I know. Like, it sounds like I need a downgrade. Com. <laughs> oh my word. How depressing is that? How depressing is it that an i7 is my ass? Oh. 
That's can fine. You hear me? Check, check. Yeah, I can hear you. Who's that? Uh, this Kane. I had to switch over. I'm streaming okay. me on one and two algo bars at max, and you can look at. Uh, I'm running AMD 7950X, but you can look at my CPU okay, as well. I have it on the stream there with both of those running the max. All right, I'm coming up there. Oh, that's another question. So why do you say that uh, AMD CPUs aren't like opt like are they just not optimized for a Ninja Trader? We have seen, you know, I think that it can change any moment. Like even right now, we're having this change of moment right now. Like where yeah. there we used to have these weird stability problems with AMD. So you know, but it, they change all the time, right? So it's like that. Yeah, whole, like, exactly. Yeah. Not right, and that's why I was saying, like, look, just in general, what I have had no issue with, I'm having, you know, it on to. But yeah. now, now we're introducing something else. Now I am introducing. I've and, always gone to Intel. I've never once gone to AMD, but I would like to see what a Threadripper could do on this. Yeah, well, and what's crazy though, with when they talk about the Threadrippers, like those are, um, you know, it's like lots of CPUs, but in general, they're typically lower individual speeds. Yeah. Um, those only one is left. I9s. Well, it depends. They they switched. The the twelve nine hundreds and above, you have to have Windows. Generally, yeah, new gen, new release, something. Yeah, exactly. But we may have found like whatever this current combination is of stuff. Um, I'm actually glad though. Like I've got something that I can consistently work with here now the second today is a second uh, with this data like i'd love to know what the data is at the same time um i mean kane i think kane has even proven it and so are you like you can crank through different sections it's different so what interrupt is causing it i don't know but the code itself i mean you guys are running like you're not even whittled down to just the Enigma, like I've got, I've got just the Enigma panel here. You guys are running with everything else. Fabella dots running. You got the, the Alpha Omegas running. You've got the uh, Delta flagging running, and got speed chart going. And fine, it, it, that's how it should be. That's it's actually yeah. even in my own QA. I had no problems with that, but I am having a problem on the second, and the problem on the second is not consistent. That's what I'm a little bit concerned about. Is today's data. But I also know how the data is pulled, right? Like you might be pulling from one server. I'm pulling from Texas. So what server are they pushing me to? What server are you on? You know, you and might be pulling from a different server. Yeah. Raising Kane, what data are you using? Are you using uh, Continuum or CQC or whatever it's called? CQC? Kinetic. Kinetic. Oh, shit. He's using the expensive data, baby. He's got the good shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm just using that new data that you buy straight off Ninja Trader's website. Hey, that's a different set of data too. I'm on CQG Continuum. Uh, okay, well I have a kinetic. I can projects. switch to Continuum though. If oh, I need dude. To. Well, I'm about. To, well, fuck that. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try. It. I'm going your way. So now I'm gonna go pull kinetic. That's a good test. I'm gonna go pull kinetic data and see if I got no problems there. Oh, maybe Thank it you. is today's data. Yeah, it hung up at 11:34 now. Okay, good. Then good. Oh, I'm actually I'm happy about. That. Like it is. There's something in today's data that they got going on. I, I, again, I'm happy with the consistency. As long as it's consistent, I'm down with it. Like, yeah. That's, uh, um, that's continuum. And I think yours is continuum also. But Kane's, uh, he's pulling from kinetic, bro. I'll go. I got kinetic connect. That could be. It definitely be another one. Uh, I'll test yesterday too and see what happens. Yeah, somebody did say they were having some issues with yesterday's, although other person. Your data. That you crashed on at 1019. Yeah, okay. And that's June 2nd date. Yeah, so my first crash was uh, 1019. 
Oh, June that's 2nd. the exact same time. Look, Matthew in our room said exactly 1019. See? 1019. There's a consistency. I am so happy about this. It's data. I'm down I, with so it. So I, I crashed, and he crashed on market replay. I crashed on historical data. Ooh. Dang. So it's both. Yeah. Uh, so it's actually so in crashed, today's data. Now, y'all are both on CQG, though, so I'm going to go with Kane. I'm going to try one more thing. I'm going here. I'm going to grab my kinetic. Um, okay, somebody else said they're also 1019. First crash. That was, me. That, was, that was me. That was me. Oh, I'm, you're, I'm just the, all you're the, the last connect. Uh, using... Okay, now... I'm about to get genetic data. Go pulling it. But now confirm for me one more time. Um Rain, this question is for you. Um mm -hmm. when you did market replay data, you had no problem. We only had the problem when we did historical, is that correct? I I don't think no, I I actually did not try market replay yet. We only did Let's historical do that. data. Let's do that test now. Let's go okay. ahead and do that one because if it's today's data, <laughs> bro, then I'm down with it. I am down with that. Yeah. Then I don't have to worry about my Corsair fucking keyboards and everything else over here chasing the chasing rabbits. Um, let's see. All right, no, I disconnect from kinetic and. Oracle from it. Connections. Oracle. Yeah, my CPU still really hasn't heated up at all either. Zeke said he's running 8.2 right now. 8 to 8.50. No crashes yet. Okay, yeah. See what happens if you get the 10.19. See, that's 10.19 there, Zeke. Oh, I'm sorry. I just started over by adding the three algo bars, so one, two, and three. Okay. Yeah, and I mean we've we've seen that it works. We've had uh, I'm watching your screen right now. Yeah, I see you're cranking on it. Awesome. Is it Kane's because the day's not on i seven? <laughs> so it works. Oh man. Oh. Doing hardcore troubleshooting. Hey, baby. <laughs> and what's crazy is, I may, if this is all driven because of today's data and there's something weird in today's data, how. But that also, that's scary too, because that means like you could be in live markets and, you know, that's going to crash. You need to, this comes back to the whole thing, like always have your backup ready to go to go and close out that trade. Have another connection and close out that trade or call your broker on speed dial and call them up, close out that trade. Ninja Trader also has an app that you can go close out <laughs> trades on too, I believe. Oh yeah, now that's Trade of 8? I bet they do. See, I'm kind of hung because I'm still with AMP and whatnot. And that AMP, I got Dorman um, is my primaries. And like <laughs> yeah. all right we're getting set up let me go to stream again i'm starting from 9 30 as well i'm going to start from the beginning on market replay data Got kinetic now. Okay, so this is the test. All right, and I am gonna start mine now. Yeah, Kevin, at one point, I was saying stick with Windows 10 because, again, 11 needed to work out their kinks, right? I mean, everything has to be taken into account, like what, what's being said at what time is said, right? At that time, that was you know, that was probably right. That was the proper choice. Oh, there it is at 8.20.
Yeah, I've had this hang again. So even on yeah, that was quick. Um, yeah, even on kinetic for me, the historical. That's weird. Now, Benny, I don't know if you saw or not. Mine works fine on Nalgo bars, but when I tried range bar three, it hang up. It hung up at that eight twenty eight thirty seven or whatever. Did it really? That was oh yes. crap! So see, it's the way that the bars are forming for it to be able to do that. Oh my word! Hey, wait, check this out. If you look at my oh, I'm gonna stream, go back to Algo bars. Yeah, go ahead. It's showing nine thirty thirteen on the market replay tab, but the the bars are moving a lot faster. Like it's not sinking for some reason. Like, look how slow the time goes up, but look how fast the bars go up. I'm not sure I understand. So, can you see my cursor? I don't know. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. 930, 30, right, so, 23, 24, yeah. Yeah, so 930, 23. This is seconds, right? Right. Well, look how far the bars are going up and fast when it's only going up like a second every like three doesn't, minutes that doesn't it's matter bro like bro you're just reinforcing like how awesome it is bro yeah. like that speedy chart being able to do all of that calculation and your system is not crashing like i love it <laughs> it's so awesome it's just cranking and and that's speedy chart too so speedy chart is forcing you to refresh a lot of times so that's <laughs> that's yeah. also what's happening right there is, is speedy chart like if you took speedy chart off like some of that would be different but yeah so there's nothing wrong with that just fyi there's nothing wrong with it okay i'm gonna change let's go to 1025 random time selected let's see what happens there yeah because we know we had that hang at 1040 right so in theory let's, yeah. let's see see uh, now you're on market replay and i don't think there's gonna be a problem that's a Really comes down to the data itself. Yeah, maybe the data file that they have is just corrupted somehow. Yeah. No, I really I, that could be it. I mean, we might be fighting today, you know, and it may be a nothing. It may be a giant nothing burger. Like we may need to find like well, is there another day that somebody somebody actually said that yesterday that they had a problem, but. Like sporadic, I feel like it was like a one. And again, any person like I, I want to make sure like I would need somebody who has already verified that all of their stuff. I'm talking about all the settings, all the security settings, all the you verified your real time is off. You don't have OneDrive, like all the usual stuff. I do not want to go back and back test the stuff I've already discovered. In fact, all those things that I told you all to turn off, bro, that was through a lot of me troubleshooting to begin with, to know all that other stuff to turn off and security and everything else. Like I, that is an absolute, like, there's no like, Oh, I got my security turned on, bro. I don't care. Yeah. Like, I, 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 <laughs> it's like all this stuff has to be turned off. I just, I have it. windows defender off. Well, it's actually uninstalled. Uh, yes. Even better. Uh, I have no virus, like antivirus scanners, no one drive, nothing like that. We'll see if I can make it past 1040, I guess. And 11, I think it was like 1130 or something like that that I also crashed at. And then Don just said he crashed at 1245 PM. Okay. Or yeah, I'm sorry, 319. Okay. Yeah, let's see if we get through all those. I go to so the threes he had a problem on, but the <clears throat> bars he did not. Three range, no crashes. Okay. Yeah, three range, but weird. weird. Three range breaks at 8:40 a.m. So there's some very weird stuff about they... today, and I'm hoping it's just today's data. Somebody can else find if anybody else can find another day that crashes. You know, we need to at some point we're gonna have to move to that test, but because if it's just today, we write off today, that'd be great. 
Yeah, I think Ninja Trader just needs to send us a paycheck for uh, troubleshooting for them. <laughs> Doing their work for them. <laughs> exactly. Uh, about to cl All right, so I just cleared 1040. Nice. Hooray! We did it! And as long as you don't open up your task manager to see, like, what's the <laughs> thing. <laughs> we won't Hello, interrupt gentlemen. it. Don't inter- do not disturb the computer. Yeah, right. Uh, Hello, everyone. Howdy. DG, what's up, brother? Uh, oh, apparently I missed a lot. <laughs> oh, bro, it's it's been crazy. We're digging, we're digging deep, bro. Digging super deep. Going all the way. Um, it looks like, though, it may be it narrowed down to, it's like today's data. Um, something's up with June 2nd, I think, with whatever historical data <laughs> record files are sitting on NinjaTrader servers. And then again, I don't really understand if it's sitting on NinjaTrader servers or if it's CQG servers, and yet NinjaTrader just says it's theirs. Whose data is it? At the same time, now I've just pulled kinetic data um, to try another test, but I just hung on the three bars, but like sometimes it works through algo bars and others. I'm um, basically, I feel like mm -hmm. everything's working pretty good. The only bug we currently still have that we need to start looking through is the Enigma filter, absolute legit bug. Um, Enigma filter, color filter, not firing off tree. Um, that's the only bit one right now. This other one, I'm, I would feel like I'm kind of chasing rabbits at this point. We found, we've got Rain here who's running on an i7. Yes, it's a 4.5 gigahertz though, or better. He's running around 5.6, 5.7. I'm sorry, 4.7. Um, speed, but it's an i7. And, you know, he's cranking away, running multiple charts, not even on a single thing. Some people are having problems on single charts. Like, we still got to figure out. Don, Don's having issues. Um, you know, you know what? Like, He's, cr he's crashing way more than everybody else and something there. I don't know what it is. Um, I have started to, you know, question whether or not if we have more people, the people that are not having issues, like I've noticed like they don't have Corsair keyboards and they don't have standard Logitech with the old version of Logitech. So I'm a little bit concerned that some of the interrupt requests are, you know, when I, for lack of better terms, incompatible. But we might be finding we're down to the nitty gritty. <clears throat> Solve like the anomalous crash component because it's not consistent with some of this stuff and definitely feels like it's outside of code because now we've got things that are failing all at the same date and time. The timestamp, for instance, we've got one that's uh, 840. We've got a, a 940, no, sorry, a 1040. Crash, and there's a couple of others that are consistent across multiple people. Um, 1019, Zeke said that was another one. 1019 was common across multiple people. Um, so in mm -hmm. that data, but it's all from today. What I'm looking for is, okay, but what about other types of days, other days that people, are they crashing or not? And I haven't, haven't seen that. As long as they have a clean machine, it seems like everything's fine. Even when I came over here to my, you know, I got off of my own personal one. I went to my QA machine where it's just, I'd call it as pure a profile as you can have. Um, like it's working pretty well. But um, yeah, and then uh, I don't know if you could see what, uh, are you watching the live stream right now? I am, yeah. So we got, uh, that's Rain's screen up there at the top. And we got um, Raising Kane. He got an AMD and his is working. But the other commonality there, they're not using the Corsair stuff. And just Logitech or Razer. So I, I have been noticing mm -hmm. as of late that my Corsair executable, like you have a Corsair keyboard right now, right? You have the K55 or K57, which one do you have? K57. Okay, so now look in your Corsair services, like look at that Corsair service and tell me how much, how many mega, megabytes your Corsair service executable has right now. Okay, let's see. Wait, we can get down to the nitty gritty, and I can download uh, the Corsair software. Yeah, and kind of try to have it break. Yeah, like yeah. install IQ, because I mean, we know your machine's working really well, cranking up, but all of a sudden if it starts hanging because of Corsair. <laughs> yeah, that Zeke guy just put in chat saying ran close to 6.2, no crash. 
no Corsair stuff here, Logi mouse and Razor keyboard. Weird. Well, that I mean, the, I hate that suspicion. I like I. I. Let's see. It's, it's just oh. gonna suck. But it could be. I mean, it very well could be. Oh. I'll keep running this till we get past twelve o'clock. Because yeah. 11 o'clock was the last crash area, and I've already made it to 11.47. Yeah, because if all of the updates and the OSs have moved forward, and they're like, okay, well, they expect all the drivers to be compatible with Logi Hub, and I'm over here having to run two sets of Logitech, um, and one of the other Logitechs I'm really just running because of my Blue Yeti microphone. Otherwise, I wouldn't even have the Logitech Hub at all. Um, but of course, hair, a live, a live stream. Of course, of course, hair total on my computer is using 80 megabytes. Yeah, isn't that crazy? So, but what's funny is, is like if you watch over time, that thing will keep creeping up. By tomorrow, yours will say it'll say 200, it'll say 300. It's weird. Like it continues. It's like it's got some kind of memory leak thing. Because I'm like, what? Well, what is it all? And what is that thing doing? Why is it still <laughs> like? What is it saving in memory? I want to know, right? I'm like, is this thing you know, copying my keystrokes? What are they doing? Is this a big, another Big Brother thing? Like, <laughs> why would a keyboard executable like continue to grow and grow and grow? I don't understand. So, what uh, version of ICU are you using? I've got the latest. Uh, let me look this. I want to launch it again. I've made it past the eleven o'clock area crash on market replay data so it might it could just be historical data because that's the only one i've crashed on so far yeah all right so iq software version 411.274 411274 my screen i'll take a screenshot and post that and along with what keyboard i have Oh, and I also, uh, I came on here earlier and talked about uh, Shadow Play. I posted yes. a video in public chat on how to make it uh, record Ninja Trader. Beautiful. Because uh, I could do it right now and it would still save the last 10 minutes of whatever this is, right? The, that is a very handy there. thing. I like that in game to be able to be like, you know, you just smash some yeah. guys. Like, you're like, oh, record that. You know, you're like, save that. <laughs> you know, uh, then you got the glass clip. That's awesome. So, so I can't find that version. So I'm just going to go to the latest download. Oh, uh, let me is... check for updates. There is an update available. Okay, version five. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and update. Curtis, what version does your say? I just got the notification to update too so all right go ahead and update oh. i hope they fixed it i mean they, surely this is you know, i don't know stop trying to guarantee that they call is, something, is, but that's a big jump from four if they're gonna go to a five Do they because i i did i read up on uh some forum posts of like yeah how come this thing keeps sucking up memory uh, i also don't have max two running for some reason, it does not run on my computer. Okay. Yeah, I remember y'all were saying that. Well, I'm definitely running Max too. That kind of stuff, but. A successful run with um, market replay data. So it was the historical thing. Like, uh, that was. That was pretty... gonna chug. <laughs> Nothing to process the download. <laughs> yeah, your i7 is keeping up, bro. That thing is playing around. It's running now. I don't know if you can. Yeah, you can oh, it's that. keeping track of CPU temps and all this other kind of stuff. 
CPU temp is only 54 degrees. Oh, but I'm just starting to think like, okay, what all is this app doing? I forgot. So some of the stuff that might be going up in memory, if it's tracking. Automatic noise gain. Okay. Yeah, they added a bunch of stuff on the new version there. Uh, that's uh All right, historical again, but Kane was saying he had a problem on the three range and then toggle bars, so I'm gonna do that test. Theory. Hey, Seven charts on liquid. <laughs> Bro. Ranked. 9700 K. Long arm short. This. I did notice that you do have that flashing issue thing though. Wondering if Ninja Trader is ever going to get that fixed. I know you're not the only person who has it. So they need to figure it out. Oh, uh, Target Phil. I can't hear you on Discord, Vinny. Oh, that's pop back in there. Target okay. filled. Target, target, target filled. Target, target filled. Yeah. Yeah, now, right? Um. Yeah, target like filled. I don't know why. Okay, yeah, so in Agamar 3s, everything was fine. So target really, it, filled. It's like a bar, it's different bar combinations that target are doing filled. it, and it has to do with the data, because, I mean, it's the same data, different bar type, though, and all of a sudden on Kinetic, I was able to bust through that. I'm going to go all the way back to the 8 a.m. now thing to see if it works with that. Um, just... But that tells me like we don't have to like do some deep dive search in the code for any of this stuff because it is I mean it's pretty it's pretty plain that there's it's an anomalous data scenario. Here, let me close out of all these charts. And then I will show you the Mac V filtering bug. So, only turning on color code signals and not MACV filtering. Target, Target filled. filled. Let's see what happens. Target, Target filled. filled. 
Yeah, okay, so uh, Raising Cain, yep, was able to, with kinetic data, got through that section, but after I went to the different bar type, I'm going to try now all the way back down to ones, because it said it was only on the range, which is odd to me, but it is what it is. I go to ones. And then, uh, I have, I have the, the, if you want to pull up my stream again, I have, I have the, uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm watching you, bro. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm looking at every. I'm watching everything you're doing, yep. So you have the Enigma filter on right now? Oh, it entered on that one. That one. That's weird. What? It's entering on them now. See? That is so, so weird. weird. But when I read it this morning, it was, it was skipping, skipping them. Huh. It was skipping them, huh? Hmm. Yeah, arm long, arm short. I mean, that's what I mean. Like, sometimes... That's why, like... I always want to see people screenshots of their video. I don't trust yeah, any. Yeah, I don't yeah. trust anything anyone says. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, that makes sense. Are, are way too common. You know what I'm saying? I literally, and y'all understand. Like when I say I trust no one, I mean I literally mean I trust no one. Uh, you can tell me straight off at liberty. I'm like, whatever. Let me look at it. It's like, well, there it is. I mean, do we all do it? I mean, sometimes when you know me and my wife, it's like, oh, I looked in the pantry. She goes in there, looks. Oh, there it is. You know, the same thing about yeah, vice versa. Yeah. No, I looked there. Are you sure? You go in there, check. There it is. You know, oh, yeah. it happens, right? That is, All the time. That is common. common. I don't yeah. know what it is. it is. Yeah. You mean this, you mean this right, right here, here that, that I found in like ten seconds? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Curtis and I were just talking the other day about you know this quantity change thing. We we're trying to you know find a bug in the quantity thing. It was like pretty sure it's this quantity thing. Curtis was like, no, I looked at that. And he looks at it again later, and he's like. Yeah, yep, I did it, it was the quantity thing. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it was like we looked at. It. I swear we looked at it. You know, but sometimes two eyes, you know, two heads are better than one, and you, you see different things, and you're like, oh, that's that's what it was. Nothing wrong with that. That's right. It's normal. But uh, don't don't ever get upset at me in the room when you guys are like, Vinny, I told you. I'm like, bro, I do not care. Oh, we just got a ten dollar donation from Millionaire, bro. I don't even know how to get that ten dollars. I'm gonna have to like go to YouTube and figure out how to get money. Like YouTube pays me nothing. I got to figure out how that super chat stuff works. I have to call ICT. Hold on. Hold on, I got ICT's number. You want to call ICT? Hey, let's have fun. It's Friday night. Let's see if ICT's unblocked me or if we can hear his voicemail. Although he never he never has his thing on. Let's let's call him then. Y'all want to call ICT? Ask him how he's doing. See if he wants to if he wants the real Enigma. Let's call him up. <laughs> Ooh, I, I might still be delirious. I might not have gotten enough sleep last night. Let's see. Here we go. Let's call up Mikey. See if he'll pick up for me today. Bro, it ain't even ringing? Yeah, what, what, this is, is this a new block technique? Doesn't even ring? Come on now. Oh, there we go. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Uh, Four, uh, one, uh, zero, uh, three, seven, two, uh, seven. Uh, I don't want to tell everybody his number, so hold on. I'll turn it back down for now, but he ain't picking up for me. Come on now. I'm going to call him again. Sometimes you need to call him twice. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he'll think it's an emergency. I'm going to call him two times. Your call has been forwarded to an uh, automatic. Oh, voice. come on, Mikey. Zero. All right, well, that was going to be fun. Um, yeah, I was going to ask him how to get money out of uh, YouTube. Probably the only thing he knows how to do. So, you know, got to call an expert. <laughs> like, hey, yeah, so somebody just did me a $10 super chat. Uh, I never got paid from YouTube, but I know you like did your whole 1099 last year on it. So, uh, yeah, how do you do that? <laughs> oh, bro, it's gonna be a great video. 
Uh, continue. <laughs> Where were we? Continuous on. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna run this on Algobar ones, and crank it 50 x, and here we go. On the ones. Okay. So can we take off that bug? Is that what I'm hearing? Uh, Rain, you're able. It's working on the blues and the pinks. Yeah. Yeah, it's working. Butamus, butamus. Oh, you want me to mute? Oh, no, I hear you. Can you hear me? Oh, you're good. No? Good. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, no, we hear you. Uh, hey, guys, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm real serious. <laughs> it's Icy Kitty! Hey, bro! Target hey, uh, still. Can you tell me how we, uh, how's that book, how's that book writing going? <laughs> oh, you know, I just, Target I just shoved filled. it into, uh, I just shoved it into Chad GPT, it'll doing all my work for me. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah, smarter, not harder for once, I see. You're not going to make, how are you going to complicate that? You're going to tell everybody that you wrote the, you wrote the GPT algorithm. I mean, I heard. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I totally wrote that. Yeah. Yeah, did you write it in uh, Pascal, that assembly language back from uh, 1980? You know, how I had my laptop before everybody else had a laptop, yeah. Oh, you know. that's right. That's right. That one that uh, you had at your uh, your uncle's house that the CFTC tried to come and confiscate, but then you told them that your hard drive blew the day before that they show that they showed up. Yeah, you know, it was just a really it was really just coincidental that my that hard drive blew up right before. Yeah, very uh, fluke. A very fluke. Um, amazing. Like God must uh, you must have gotten a fireball from God Himself, and you're blessed by Him to have crashed your hard drive. Did it? Did it, uh, how did that hard drive blow? Was it a fireball accident, freak accident, fire extinguisher involved? Yeah, I think it was me just ripping it out of my computer and sticking it in a <laughs> microwave, but. So you, you pulled a, a Hillary Clinton uh, erasure? Yeah. There were hammers involved. Got it. Got it. <laughs> um, it was a nice gentleman walked up to my door. Um. Okay. Yeah. So mine, mine hung up on the on the ones. So still not too cool. I don't know. There's something in the data there. Is that historical? Yep. Yeah, it's historical. So yeah, it, it's inconsistently inconsistent, but it's consistent enough to know that it's in today's data. Whatever's in six two's data. I mean, maybe if somebody else wants to find another day that's problematic. Um, I mean, I'd like to, I'd like to have one of those. Let's take a peek. I do. I'm concerned with Don's stuff though. Like Don, I don't know what's going on with Don's stuff. His sounds like even way worse. Um, but with sounds that like one, I would a... start a, I would start a new profile and, uh, where's Matt at? Matt, I had, uh, we sent a link from somewhere that was talking about windows 11 administrator account. Anybody yeah. know about that one already? Yeah. There's a thing if your computer, especially when your computer comes provisioned from these like custom PC makers. Yes. You they don't set up the accounts correctly or they use a they have some sort of root access account that is created on the system so they can take a look at it and get around certain mechanisms if you have to send it back in or whatever. Right. Um, gotcha. So you have to, what's the key? You have to enable the administrator account. Was that what I understood? Or what, what's the, what's the fix for that? I understand. You have to, you have to basically enable administrator on your actual user account because you're not granted in Linux terms. You're not granted super user access. I got you. So it's kind of weird. They just, they give you an account that says it's an administrator, but not. Uh, Could that yeah, be my yeah. Issue? Could that be my issue with Max too? Since I bought mine from uh, I Buy Power, that actually could be. It is that administrator account thing, but I don't. Uh, there's a video on it somewhere on on that, and it is specific to Windows 11. So you do you do fit the criteria. I would definitely check that. That's interesting. And well, it does I, say on Max too. There is some little option on there. It says you need to make sure something about the administrator um, to make sure that it's run it and turn UAC down. And but if you can't because the administrator account is either disabled or not allowing your account to have administrator, that it could be. Yeah, um, it, Matt so, is the expert on that. Matt is he uh, is he still in here? Matt, are you he's there? Put it, he's typing in public chat. Perfect. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's. He can. He can drop that in there, and we'll drop that in the Vinny's tips and tricks section. 
um, as well, because if that is a common theme, we'll uh, figure it out. Um, and I am, I'm running a test right now on, uh, well, I'm about to start running a test on uh, historical data for 6.1. All right, and then let me go, so in the, go to the bugs room here. So we can eliminate one of the bugs um, that someone, I mean, I don't know, I'd heard several people say that, but I think that maybe they didn't understand what arm long, arm <laughs> short was, possibly. Yeah, I was the one I posted in there saying that the, uh, the Mac, Mac B bug, bug, but I'm going to go ahead and delete that since we both just see okay. that not happen. Okay, bug reports. Um, all right, so the other ones from video cart drivers, the latest. If indicators are not native to an indicator, please tell us to see their native version of the new. Or in crashing. Oh, by the that's that's not our bug. I want to chart loads sometimes. Bro, you need to reload. George, here's my solution for you, George. That is not a bug, bro. You need to reload your machine. <laughs> uh, new account uh, for you. I would like blow the profile first before you wipe your computer. Uh, new profile, fresh install, and then come back and see me. There's a solution for that bug. Enigma adding 2% on first signals last 20 seconds. All right, he's got a video here. I like video. Let's take a peek. Uh I did. Th I did see that same issue earlier Nine. too. Okay, I'm but see if I, I haven't seen it pop up spot. again. Right here. What is this? I don't. I didn't really understand what they're saying. It's something about adding to it. Okay, we'll see if we can get it to crash again. I mean, I did just. I pressed balls at the same time, but do anything. Watching his video now. Okay, completely hung up. Out on the live the stream. Log. Is there anything in the log? No, nothing. All right. I could mute his video. Maybe. Close. Is it gonna close? No, of course it's not. All right. Let's see. He's on the algo bar five. Okay, he goes short. And then green added to the position. Okay, hold on. It happened right at the end, and then he closed it out. Watch that again. What happened? Oh. Red. Okay, but it didn't reverse for him on that one? Now, I've seen it reverse many times. Um, does have his dollars in... Pounds. Wait, what? Watching his video here. The one that's in the. Yeah, I saw it. Right here. Look like it that's buys, but then, it, but then it's also selling. Dude! He's got arm short on. Look at the screenshot. Look, I'm telling you, PebCAC, and here we go. I just solved another PebCAC issue. Here we go, PebCAC. Anybody wants to know what that means? Problem exists between the keyboard and the chair. It's you, bro. It's you. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. Look, you. of course it only took... Wait. Oh, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Nope, nope. Hold up. The arm no, short. But when the buy comes, okay, because it's only going to go short. I see what it's saying. So it's only going to allow shorts. That's interesting. I see. Okay. That is, yeah. Uh, that is, okay. No, my bad. My fault. I jumped the gun. I just, anytime I saw this, it, that was actually his point, was that I had arm shorts only. But when a long came, it mm. didn't go long. So that's good. Didn't go long. But when it showed up, it did go, okay, count it as a short. That is a bug. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Valid. Thank you. My apologies. I'm the idiot. You are I, a winner. 
<laughs> I, I can actually vouch for that too because I had that yeah. same bug pop up for me, but I didn't record it. No worries. No, I did understand that he was saying uh, I didn't, or I didn't understand that he was saying that he he actually was expecting it to only do shorts, and he did not want anything to come up when that green one showed up. But when the green showed up, it added to the. I got you. I got you. Okay. Yep. Yeah, legit. 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 Legit bug. All right, Curtis, you understand that one? I do. Yeah, I'm looking into cool. it. Yeah. All right, and then another one here. No. All right, he's got a video. Uh, what do we got? He's got arm long and short. Okay. And he's on the three range. Oh, he's on YM. All right, let's see. Playing some YM. Got here. One's this. What's a six minute? Okay, getting short. To position, okay, good so far. Maybe he's going to tell me what the issue is. This one where he was just saying maybe it hung on him at some point. What is this one? Which video? The Reno. Reno, he just has he has the video. He doesn't have a text around what the problem is on the passport. Looks like it's good unless it hangs or something. Okay. Uh, I think he's just showing a free time of day. 11.30. Yeah, yeah, if it was from today, he knows nothing. Star, star says Windows 11. One, okay. But problem reported. He bought set up for arm long. Okay, same same bug. Same we know thing, about that one. Yeah. HSR, same repeat. Runcho Agabar 2s worked good. Same settings, but three bars, it crashed. It might be for that. Okay. On to just one. Two. Yep, it's today's data. Kind of just discounting anything of today's data and particularly on market replay data. Oh no, he's the one that said he didn't have a problem. Yeah, he's fine on market replay. It's the historical that's had the problem today. <laughs> cool. Um, all right, so that one's another non. So okay, cool. We're narrowed down one one bug to solve them all. Um, yeah, it's just the add to bug. Oh man, thank you guys for all your contributions. I have not eaten anything all day. I'm a bit famished. I'm gonna go grab some food. Um, I might even warm up in my hot tub for a minute. Cause, uh, <laughs> yeah, my brain hurts. Been uh, how long have we been live streaming? We've been streaming for three hours, and we did another. I don't know how long the other one was before this, but okay. Promise next week. Here's what's coming. Exciting stuff. Exciting. It is gonna be awesome. We are getting into the officials, folks. I'll be doing live streams with this stuff as well. Um, yeah, I mean, we're gonna. I'm gonna break down each individual um, feature that we've done. I'm not gonna do overalls like we've done in the past. It's just gonna be. I'm gonna come in. We're gonna hit it. Boom, pow, pow. Next one. Boom, pow, pow. Next one. We're gonna start playing this. Um, they want to play the. YouTube algorithm game. You want to see what happens if we start to play the game. We're going to save some people from these scammers. Um, we're going to be getting ourselves in bite-sized snippets so that people can digest them, see them, present them. Hopefully also benefit to you as well, not just about marketing to other people, but for you, you are going to be able to search for something. I'm going to maximize the search capabilities. So if you want to find every video about 
I don't know, like, let's talk about one of our additional features, like Bollinger Bands. All right, what have we done with the Bollinger Bands recently? We have now increased the colorings. Uh, I'll just show it. Oh, no, my phone here. But yes, if you go into your Bollinger Bands now, you can control the transparency. Some people are asking about that. The um, new tick data and we call it position details. So your position details will be drawn out there for you. I don't believe there's a bug there. Someone will say, oh, maybe it's the position details. No, it's not. I was running that thing at, like I said, 100x, 500x at a time. As long as the day's data was good, you know, I, I had no problems. I didn't even run into days with data problems. Um, the first time I saw this issue was on 6.2 today. So I can had some crazy data anomalies. I have not found any other day where that was a problem. So if you have a clean machine, and I want to start with that. I want to tell everybody, if you're starting with a clean machine, start a new Windows profile. I'm going to do a separate video on that too. Good luck. Create a new profile. If you're having problems over consistently, here's what I ask you to do. Change your PC from a PC to a business PC. Have a business login at least. And if you wanna, if you can't, you know, have a separate machine, it's expensive to have a separate machine, fine. Keep your current one, but then log in on another account and keep that account logged out while you're doing our stuff. And then when you're done for the day, go log into your personal PC stuff, do your personal thing. Um, but, uh, Looks like a lot of these crashing issues are data related and or your personal PC. We do have some people um, you know, that are having issues. Um, Don, I'm still gonna work with you on seeing what's going on. I wanna get on a team viewer with you. I'd like to just dive into your machine. Let me look around and find out you know, if there's something that I can help out with and find, fantastic. Um, and I, I bet there is, there's, there's probably something there and we'll figure it out. So, all right folks, y'all have a fantastic weekend. Thanks for hanging out. For me, Pippi, Robbie, Mudspot, Mudspot, Curtis G, and apparently everybody else here, Raising Kane, we got uh, Rain, we got people with i7s, all you guys, Mastodons, <laughs> Don, all the people who are throwing down with the marketing stuff. We got Barbecue Sizzle throwing down our hot bids. You guys freaking rock. See you.